Hold on, this guy says you stole it. Why are you denigrating that? I think you should take this seriously. Oh my god. Well, because one, he's a paid actor, right? Huh? I think. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's just like, you're very bald. You're balding. Your, your hair is thinning and it's great. <laughs> Seems like when you go on these tangents, you just you go on a rampage, you just ramble and ramble without making any concise point or a question. Can we talk like adults now or not? Oh, he's crying in the corner. <laughs> he, oh, okay, sure. Because it seemed like you were getting like really mean really quickly. But well, you told me this was about optics. Now, I, if it is all about <laughs> worldview and uh, morality, I had to just get him mad. Being obnoxious was uh, was his strategy the whole time. Legitimately excited to do this debate for some reason. It looks like it's going to be fire. You have XQC versus Ethan Klein. It's just exciting. I don't know what else to tell you. It looks like it's going to be a brawl. I saw one clip. I was going to do it last night, and then I decided not to. I don't even like know why, but that's life. Um, and then I saw XQC doing the worm, and I was like, "Wow, this is what a, this is riveting content." So I'm a, I want to watch it, and this is the debate between. <laughs> that's it. Uh, let's watch. Let's just let's just go. Excuse me. Let me. All right, so pin him and throw him up. Oh, here he is. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, Felix, can you hear me? Yeah. You His name is Felix. Wow. Are you kidding me right now? I just came back from the pharmacist and they just texted me saying my script is ready. It's like what? Okay, whatever. Continue. You're something deep fried, bro. And also, I, get, I see myself on a, on a delay. Look. Okay, hold on one sec. We'll I can't. I... We'll, we'll get it right before we start. Okay, one second. Dan is going to uh, okay. fidget around a little bit. How are you? XQC isn't the brightest. Yeah, you know, part of me kind of feels like Ethan... Um, listen, I don't know. This could just be me, but part of me feels like Ethan is, is chooses to take on the easy fights when it comes to like these debates. I mean, XQC, Pearl, uh, like, I, I I mean, how hard are those? How, I mean, we're not talking about the brightest tools in the shed. So... I'm uh, doing good. I didn't sleep yet, but I'm chilling out. What's up? You said you didn't sleep yet? <laughs> no, because um, I, just, I didn't want to. Okay. Sleep <laughs> okay. is optional for you. Sleep for the week. Not, sometimes, yeah. Okay. So how much do you sleep usually in, in, a, in like a per night average? Sleep is optional. I only get like six, seven, but it just takes me a while to go to sleep and when I go to sleep. Otherwise, sometimes I'll, I'll skip a day or two. So you can skip a day or two? How do you skip? How old is this guy where he can still skip sleep? What? There's no way. 27? There's no way. How are you? 27, you can still skip sleep? There's something wrong with him. Two of sleep and then sleep for six or seven normal. and you're fine? I don't sleep like an eight after like a... Oh, uh, the product placement. Check it out. Short video bender. Mm -hmm. what, what happens is that... Um, bender of what? Coke? Um, <laughs> if, I, if I wake up after like a six hours after that, I, I wake up like st I'm sticky. Like my brain is like really slow and foggy and it, it, right. my head, my brain feels heavy. Right. Well, that's Kinda interesting. Crazy. Nah, I think that's awesome. Not really, that. but sleep. something. Yeah, same. I, yeah. This guy has to be like an addict or something. Good for you, brother. All right, so is everything go looking okay. good back there, Dan, or you need a couple very, more minutes? Very unhealthy, though. But do, do we still sound deep fried, or is it is it all good? You are chilling. We're chilling. Okay. So okay. I, <laughs> what is this? I, this is so weird. Is everything good on your end, uh, Felix? Uh, yeah, I don't see you anymore, but yeah. You don't see me anymore? I don't see, I see you. Oh! Because you guys project when I'm talking back at me. So whenever, as soon as I talk, I'm back in. Is there a way to change that or not? Oh, yeah, you... there is. There is. I feel like this is XQC's shitty mic uh, more than anything else. This guy's like a billionaire. What the hell? It is here. I got oh, you. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, no, I can just pin you, I think. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you can pin us. No, it's because or... it's the switch. Here, Dan can fix it once You're going to the switch? Whoa. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Hold on. But it seems you guys run this show. If there's anything on the screen you don't like, like a sponsor or something like that, I'll, I'll take it off, whatever that is, because I'm just drinking like whatever tea oh, or like water. Thank you for I told you, product placement. For saying that. No, you're good. Appreciate the thought, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, you know. Mm. It's nice to... Uh, That's what my wife says to me sometimes. <laughs> uh, talk about she this stuff. I do think it's important, cries. so it'll be good to have a chat about it. Okay. That definitely is um a pretty um big point on the internet. Oh, it's doing it still, but uh, whenever whenever it happens, you're like in the corner. Um, let's fix that. I want to make sure it's fixed before we unless, we get unless I remove my, unless I remove myself. Dan, do, do you have any? He's working on it. Sorry, just give us one minute. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's Zoom after all. Uh. For some reason, the Zoom works better with tech when it works. 
Oh, okay, yeah. To, he, you think he should hide himself? Yeah. So he can hide his camera, then he'll just see just us? Just look at our feed. Can you try that? The problem, I, I, the problem is I, he's seeing I, our switch. Yeah, I'm gonna have a delay. What is oh. this? So anytime Ian switches, he's seeing, to him, he's seeing himself. I'm, I'm working on a workaround for that. Who cares? I mean, it, okay, is it okay? Should we, should we get started, do you think, Dan? I mean, I, I might need a few minutes to fix it, so if you don't want to wait for it, uh, I, I can I still be working on it okay. while you guys start talking. For me, it's fine. Since it's, it's a production, for, okay. yeah, I, I don't, as long as you'll fix it at one point, um, I don't be fine. Also, is it, okay, somebody says, uh, mirror the camera. No, I can do that. Change the gallery. I already have gallery. We're good. I think it's because, because their tech switches from the speaker. Um, you, you guys mirror back, back at me pretty much, right? Uh, oh, wait, well, it's fixed. Oh, good. Oh, wait, <laughs> what? When you talk, you show me. When I talk, it shows you. <sighs> yeah, this is ridiculous. That was what I was explaining. Uh, he just sees uh, our feed, our stream feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you would have to mirror yourself pretty much, but otherwise it's fine. All right, I guess we'll just get started. Sorry about that. Please do. Oh, Don't about it. That's fine. Let's just pretend like it's not there. So I just want to say, first off, like I was saying, thank you for... Um, Doing this, I think it's important conver conversation to have, and I'm and I think you're you're the right person to talk to about it, simply because yes. I feel like he's not. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> maybe I feel like there's probably other people who react that might be better to talk to. Um, but okay, I feel and I think you would agree with this premise that you are. You push the, the, the fair use value, or apparently you don't even care about fair use at all. I, I, and I don't want to put words on your mouth, so you can correct me where I'm wrong. But you seem to not care about it, or at least you push it as far as it can go. So you seem like the right person to talk about it with. Okay. Why? why uh, maybe because he doesn't react too much? Is that what the issue is? Is, is? Does he just not do a lot of reactions, or is his reaction just like really like, whoa, wow? crazy instead of any is that what the biggest issue is with xqc is that he just has billy bare bones reactions because i don't wa watch xqc right? but if that's the issue i guess yeah sure hey vince vintage what's up guys i know i saw a clip of, of of ethan talking about vince vintage okay a little fun fact okay this fun fact i think uh I have, i'm friends with his brother-in-law isn't that what it is a buddy of mine I used to play world of warcraft with we don't really play wow anymore it's kind of cringe uh, so isn't that funny or soon to be brother-in-laws or something? Yeah, I saw I saw those I saw the pictures of you guys having tea a couple months ago, too. I saw it dude. I saw that I'm all over it Guys, I think there's <laughs> three points to that. Uh, I, I don't want to get too debated yet, but basically um, I think I value uh, a Good life product, right okay. one two um, I'm, I think I'm the right guy because I do a lot of it. I do good reacts, bad reacts, but overall I do a high density of reacts. I do a lot of it. Yeah, but I mean, on top of that, too, so. um, uh, against popular belief, I guess these days, I um, ask for permission a lot. And <laughs> I Is that true, though? Does he ask for permission? My understanding, most people do it, and I guess I do too. I mean, I do a lot of reacts. Is you just kind of do it, and if somebody's like, yo, can you take it down, which I've never had, and I would. One person, I think it was Internet Anarchist or archivist he reached out he's like hey can you just change your title and i was like oh yeah no and i did it um and i think that was actually you know i think that was actually at the time where i wasn't putting people's links in the description i was showing it on the stream and i was always like hey guys we're watching the video from such and such but i never put like the explicit link in there and i was like you know what i should just start doing that like it's just like it's just stupid that i'm not and that's and that was like months ago and now i always do that um so like Okay, but yeah, I mean that's usually how it is, isn't it? He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't ask. He definitely does not ask anybody. You know, um, an ecosystem where things are good and not conflictual. Right. That's the main point. Yeah. Okay. So okay, that's that's all fair. That's all good. I want to make one. Uh, I guess I want to make one thing clear at the top is that I want to focus on um, the YouTube uploads. Okay. Because the the Twitch streaming itself, I feel like, is too much of a gray zone, and there's. I don't think so. I, my my thing is, is if if we come to the collective understanding that streaming, that po if we think that posting the video on YouTube 
is bad on the reaction, then I also think that the Twitch stream should be bad. Like, why why do you get to pick and choose which one? If so, it's either all bad or none of it's bad. I find that inconsistent. The only argument that you might see is like, well, it's a stream instead. Who cares? If your argument is like, hey, it's on Twitch, it's a different media. Um, like, I, I just I don't see the difference in it. You know, I don't because to me. You know, if you think it's okay to do it on a stream, what you're saying, to some extent, is that you don't think it's going to have a negative impact. I think it. I don't think so. Okay, I think it should either all be bad or none of it's bad. Because my thing is, is I I feel like audiences who watch React content are different from audiences who um will watch like an actual video, right? Like nobody's gonna if somebody wants to watch like two gorillas having fucking premarital sex, a react like they want to watch like a, a documentary about gorillas that are just fucking. If you're looking to watch that video, you're not going to watch a reactor watch the video unless you explicitly want to watch that reactor have a commentary on that particular thing. And at that point, I feel like it's two different audiences. If your argument is, I'm, I'm not articulating well, sorry. If your already, our argument is that the Twitch audience is different from the YouTube audience, and that's why it's okay, I would argue that the reactor audience is different from the non-reactor audience and that like it's not going to cannibalize the, the particular person. So for me, again, I think that both of them should be bad. If we come to the collective understanding that they're both bad, they sh or one of them is bad, they should both be bad. Either they're both good or they're neither are good industry standard that's the point i, I would that be I'm less making. uh i would be more hesitant to call what happens on twitch a violation of any kind so i just want to focus Why? on what you upload to your bad. youtube channel is that okay it's fine to focus on that just for the sake of the debate but in general if they're both bad if one's bad they're both bad um okay so that's gonna be a yes and a no because i truly believe that a twitch as a is it somewhat of a competitor on it uh, is. vods if Twitch didn't have VODs, then that'd be wrong. Uh, th th that'd be right. But Twitch has VODs, and all the VODs stay up. But when people react, they leave the VODs up. It's quite the same thing as being able to watch uh, or listen to music uh, on stuff that remains in the VOD. Okay, that's true. But just for the sake of the... So, but regardless of if they would watch or not, there's no reason for them to watch after. I, I would argue that like that's negligible. I would say that you probably weren't going to watch it anyway. If you watch the reactor have like a particular commentary on something, you probably weren't going to watch the other video anyway. The reactor audience is just, I think, very different from like an other type of or whatever you want to call it, entertainment audience, entertainment video audience. I don't think that you were going to. And if anything, you're more likely to click on a reaction video and then actually go and watch the main video than you are to just like come across it nat organically um, otherwise. Because if you if you didn't come across it and you didn't watch it already, I don't think that you're going to watch it. And to be honest with you, there's many times where I've like watched uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, there's there's plenty of times where I've watched um, Asmongold and I've turned off his video to watch the main video anyway because like I'm like all right I can't listen to this motherfucker ramble about shit that I don't care about right and I like Asmongold but I'm sure people do the same thing with me again like there's a difference between the audiences I just I would argue that you're really not cannibalizing any audience nobody somebody might watch your reaction and that means that they wouldn't watch the core video sure. But at the same time, nobody who's trying to watch the core video would ever watch your reaction instead. It's not cannibalizing the audience. It's a it's a different audience of people who are engaging differently. Most likely lonely people who have no friends that are looking to um that that are just looking to have like a little bit of a different interaction with or have somebody talk over the video. Somebody maybe they don't have a dad, so they're like, Oh, I want to watch Papa Gut because I'm fucking lonely as shit and I'm a loser and I don't have a dad and I'm, you know, a fatherless child, you know. Uh, they're gonna. <laughs> you're looking for your dad to talk over the content, and then it gets into an even more robust conversation about the difference between conversational content versus uh, ed, um, entertainment content. Like this is this right here. What I'm engaging in right now is conversational content. It's not like then. There's a difference between that. I would say and an entertainment video. Like if I was watching a Vince vintage video, so I don't know. There's a lot of different aspects to it. Um, this conversation i just want to focus on because yeah if would i be would i be cool if there was like an option that let people decide if they want to be reacted or not sure whatever who cares that's fine um like from a legal perspective and i know you don't really care about the legality of it and that's fine but i just want to focus on like the youtube videos as they stand as like a product i understand that the vods are on twitch and that that would uh, that would and again if like again so if somebody if there was an option that like you could like hey I, i'm okay with my video being reacted to or not i would satisfy i would absolutely listen to that only if they were entertainment videos. If they were non-entertainment videos, I would still react to it. Like if if it was a conversational content, if somebody that was like, "Oh, hey guys, here's like a fucking in-depth video about trans people," um, you can't react to this. I would still react to it if I disagree with it.
because like it's a different it's a different sphere it's a very different sphere you know create an inherent problem as well but just for the sake of the conversation to keep things clean and uh, keep us from getting too messy that's that's my focus if okay. that's okay with you okay okay um yeah. you know what you know what okay just for the sake of having a good argument i'll do that except for when um except for when the topic matters sure right it really matters if it, if it doesn't overall fine but there are there are certain points that like it plays a big role into it <laughs> if it's too big i think i, I want to ignore it but I'll, you I'll, know what I'll, that that's 100 percent fine i guess i'm just saying that for myself so that when i'm talking you understand that i'm talking about your youtube channel and not making general statements about what's happening on twitch okay that's, that okay, is, cool. uh, that, that, okay. that's fair when it, yeah yeah okay cool so I guess my first question for you to start is that, do you think your work is transformative? Of course, that's one of the main tenets of fair use. So is this conversation about is XQC's work transformative or is this conversation about whether reaction content is transformative? Because I feel like those are a little bit different. I, again, I don't know XQC, um, XQC's content enough, I don't think. You know, I remember like to the one video that like the, the one video that he reacted to wasn't reacty enough. And that was a problem. Um, if he's watching a video, this is 13 minutes. Where's the core video? Oh, he doesn't have the core video in his description. What? Wait, is this it? No. Wait, what? Wait, why isn't the core video in this? Oh, maybe it's TikTok. Maybe it's because it's a TikTok thing. Maybe it's a TikTok thing. Kai Sinat. I don't know. Okay, I'm just dying. I would argue mine is rea is transformative enough. Uh, so that's all I would say. Uh, do you think your work is transformative? Um. Yes. You do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's an interesting thing. I don't know XUC's content enough, so some of these are I'm gonna like answer myself, and I'm not really gonna be able to answer other things. I know that some people talk about doing editing as transformative. Editing would be part of the transformation. I think that like taught, like putting a video, let's say the video is 20 minutes and then you turn that into, I would say at like 20, 30 minute video. I think that's transformative enough. Like, like I said, nobody's going to watch my video, an old fat fucking piece of shit, talk over a video in replace of watching the core video. Like nobody's watching this to watch the uh, Ethan uh, XQC debate right now. You're all watching this to see what I have to say about this debate, right? Um, so... That's one of the things I would say that there's a level of transformation to that. Absolutely. I, I, whether XQC hits that mark or not, I don't know. I mean, I, he hasn't reacted to any of my stuff. I would be fine. I would be great if he did. That's one of the things, too. I feel like it's I would say that it's generally would be a good thing. It gets that like it gets it out there. It gets the information out there. Um, so, but OK. Wait, wait. Here, I mean, OK, because I, I was watching you yesterday and here you said it's absolutely not transformative. Here it is. What? You don't have to care. That's totally fine. But do you agree that uh, you've you've created non transformative reactions? 100 percent. Yeah. OK. Well, does that say that he's oh, well, that I think if I'm being charitable, he might be saying there that there are some reactions that I've created that were non transformative. Not that his reactions in general are non-transformative. I've done that too sometimes. And usually if I'm watching a video, we did it yesterday with like a Vosh video. I was so fucking bored. I had nothing to say. I turned it off. Because like I don't want to watch a video or react to a video that I don't do anything with. Because it's a waste. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you might think you have a lot to say. And then you don't. And then you kind of move on. But That's fine. We're, we've agreed. Hey, hey, hey. Don't so say that there's no editing. I started editing my videos. Okay, I started editing my, the introduction of my videos, okay? There's, that's a, a 30 seconds of editing. So here you say you've 100% made non-transformative reactions. Did you change your mind? Um, no, 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 absolutely not. I didn't change my mind. The, the whole point is that nevers are really bad because I think we all um, have stuff that is not transformative. If you do a, a, a full-on yes or no, I just kind of like play with the question and that was kind of like, that, by the way, he was uh, that Ethan uh, showed us a, a, a spot of um, XQC and Destiny and a, a couple of other creators. I think Abu was definitely in there too. I watched a little bit of it myself, like live. Uh, we're talking about, like, we're debate prepping for XQC. That's what he's referring to there. So I think it's just important to, 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 know, to note too that some of the things that XQC said there were outrageous because he was exploring what he was going to answer as. So. So, but fly. your work is not fully transformative. Some of it is not, by your own admission. Uh, 
Yes. Yeah, so some of his less reactive. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I mean, XQC really like fails this question because there's no, he could literally, like, he's not clarifying. He could say, oh, yeah, sometimes it unintentionally is not transformative, but most of it is. That, I imagine, is his actual answer. And he's just not answering the question like that. He's just like, yeah, some of it is. So now it's up to the audience to speculate what percentage of it is actually transformative enough or by his own logic at the very least, what is transformative enough for it to uh, to maintain itself. But instead he's just like, yeah, some of it's not good. And it's like, okay, it's good to be honest. It's not good to not be contextually accurate or not like add any context to the fucking conversation. And that's something that he's not doing particularly well there. Um, so, you know, silly goose on that one, huh? So... So oh, thank you so much for the six months. Uh, Dwight Jedella, proud of your new editing efforts. Good try. Thank you. It's actually very good. I'll show you something. In that regard, do you care a little bit. at all about like IP or copyright or like the fact that it's illegal? Does that matter? If it, that it might be illegal, uh, does that matter to you? Uh, no. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that, that would matter to me. The way that I interact with this content is like, listen, it is easy. I sit here. I get to talk to people on a stream for three hours and then upload some clips. If there was like some kind of a lawsuit like a standard setting new lawsuit that was like, hey, you can't react unless you hit these particular other parameters. I would just not do it anymore. And I would either fail and just go get a real job or I would shift up my content and I would change it up. Um, I was successful without having to do this on TikTok. Um, and frankly, I'd probably be more successful if I put more effort into my content. But hey, you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. Well, if, if flat out doesn't, because... Well, that's fair. That that, that's totally fair. And so because... It doesn't matter to you. I don't think it's there's any point to really even discuss. Well, I can, fair I can, use elaborate, law. I can elaborate a little bit. Well, you probably, uh, should, you probably should discuss fair use law. That's like the fundamental what this conversation is about. Oh, so. please. And open the door a tiny bit just to give you a, a general angle. Um, I, I truly believe that usually the people that enforce it are the ones that have a problem with it. Right. Uh, the, the well, yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> Who else would? Problem with the nature of the content itself. <laughs> so that's like an obvious statement. Um, because uh, in terms of legality, right? Technically, if I'm playing some Telltale game, well, I mean, they could take me down anytime they want, right? Because that's their game, and I'm yoinking their stuff. So the reason that this is this, we've kind of already talked. Like this is kind of a bad argument unless he's gonna play one angle, and that um, that angle is is that. Those people who made those games used to think that it was hurting their audience to have reactors and gay or to have reactors or, or or gaming streamers. So in this case, the gaming the gaming the game player would be the same thing as the reactor, and the um, the video that's being reacted to would be the same as the video game, right? So for the for the argument's sake, uh, so his only argument he can make here that would work is if he was like, well, back in the day, they the, the video game publishing companies used to think it was a bad thing for people to react to their game, but it actually had a positive impact. And then you can go from that angle. I weak argument in my opinion. I feel like a game is very different from a video. But outside of that, like this is uh, we the, kind of a non-argument because again, the video games are different from an actual video, right? Um, like I, I mean, to be honest with you, I will watch a gaming streamer. I think it's comparable in the one sense that I watch gaming streamers sometimes. And I never play the game. I don't want to play the game. I actually do that so that I don't have to play the game. I just kind of want to see what the storyline is. I'm a little bit interested, but not interested enough to actually play the game. Um, I feel like a lot of people who watch gaming streams do that. Then there are some people who watch this stream and they also play. I think that there are some people who watch my content and they also watch the core video. A lot of people come in here already have watched the core video wanting to see what I have to say about it. In fact, those are the people who recommend the most. Um, and so I think that there is a comparable like dynamic there. So, you know, unless he's going to go down that route, unless he's going to go down that route, I don't know why the fuck he would bring it up. Right. So let's legality see wise, they could clap me for everything I've got, but for just playing their game. All right. He's not going to go sure, down that route. Yeah. He's just going to make a very. But obviously, well, so fair use is decided on a case by case basis by a judge or jury. <laughs> so it's, just... it's hard to do big sweeping generalizations about okay. what is and what isn't. But ultimately, if I understand your position, you don't really care about the legality of it. You're more like uh, this is just concerned with the philosophical <laughs> thoughts of like of uh, re reacting to content. Sure. I the limitations of that is that I care enough um, enough about it to where it affects me, right? Okay. So okay. hey, listen, I, you got to respect XQC for one thing. He's he's honest. He's like, I don't really care unless it affects me. It's, it's honest. It's honest. It's honest. I have to care because it's it's the legality of it, right? Like if somebody wants to strike down, wants to uh, send out a claim, whatever. Well, I have to act on that, right? So whether I care or not, 
that that will that will happen. It's about creating a market substitute, which is why you can't just. Yeah, I understand that, but I would argue that. Um, uh, like, I get what you're saying. Understandable. I just don't think that reactions will necessarily be market substitutes as long as you react to it enough. I mean, it's probably more of a market substitute for like two different commentary content creators to create the same commentary about a situation. Those are more market substitute than somebody reacting to somebody's video because it's like, hey guys, uh, Pingle World just shit his pants, and then like the same five hundred people are going to talk about how Pingle World shit his pants. You know, uh, there's going to be nothing particularly interesting or engaging or intelligent about the commentary. It's just going to be about Pingle World shitting his pants. You're going to watch one. Although, you could actually make an argument, too, because some people are obsessed with Pingle World. This really happens. People are obsessed with, like, particular topics, especially hot topic issues. And they'll watch the they'll watch 17 people say the same fucking thing about it because they're just so obsessed with, oh, my God, Pingle World literally shit his pants. This is fucking insane. Turns out that person also shit their pants, but they're just living vicariously through the insulting of Pingle World because they were insulted when they were kids. It's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, let's continue. Happen, right. and it, it happens all the time. Except, I like to create an environment where uh, I engage with people and content that are not going to do that because um, they believe in the mutually beneficial nature of the interaction, such as sure. video games. Even though the video game could um, strike me, and that they want for just playing their game on my stream, right. Right, and so, okay. So I think my- Honestly, I don't watch 90% of the things from the creators react to. Exactly, that's the point though, is that like you were never going to, <laughs> right? So it's not a market substitute because you weren't going to watch that. Because I don't shut the fuck up. Like, why would you? But then I know there's some people who will watch that, right? It depends. Like, I know a lot of my core audience that sits in the stream, like you're probably you only really, like you, a lot of what you watch is like pop gut content because you're obsessed, right? I'm just, I'm just fucking busting your jobs. But then there's other people who engage more casually, like the way I engage with uh, Asmogol's content, where I'll watch it and then like you, like a lot of times I'll watch a little bit of it and I'll just put on the regular video because I'm more interested in the in the subject matter. Um, Point is that we can kind of sk skip this whole conversation and move on to the um because I think we both agree World, if we did yeah. a fair use analysis <laughs> and you admit that when you says it's not transformative that a lot of the stuff you do. Well, he didn't admit it wasn't transformative necessarily. He said that some of his content isn't transformative, and he meant that in an unintentional way, but he's a fucking idiot that doesn't know how to explain himself and doesn't understand, like, the optics of anything that he says. So, like, he says something, and he thinks that you all understand what he's specifically talking about because he's just a dumb fuck, like, sometimes. Like, I like XQZ, but he's an idiot. Like, he doesn't realize that nobody... <laughs> he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get that he has to explain himself. It's insane. Would, would fail the fair use uh, test... So oh, I, we're on and, the same and, page, yeah. And Does also he a lot of your that, stuff or? too. So we're in the same boat, pretty much. Probably not as much, no. Probably not as much, no. Um, yeah, I would so say. I did a little, a little stats. Maybe you don't want to hear it, or because you want to gonna la la la. But um, <laughs> dude, XQC is just here to brawl, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like, he's just basically admitting it. I'm just, he's just here to brawl. Uh, you might not want to hear these stats. You might want to go la la la. It's like, dude, you can't. <laughs> it's entertaining, I gotta say. It is fucking entertaining, but holy shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that either. Uh, okay. By density of content, with how much you upload as a person, uh, as a channel. Okay. I upload this much, right? Overall, because I have a lot of runtime, you upload about this much. Okay. So if we were to break down the percentage of non transformative content, your ratio is almost higher as, higher as mine. I, I oh. have no idea what you're trying to say right now. I don't either. You're well, gonna have to unpack that more. I don't understand this much that much. You gotta have to explain. Is it. he? I don't. I don't. I, what? That a little so, more. so what the content the you upload on YouTube and on your, on your channels, right? The things that are on YouTube because you don't want to do Twitch. Talking right? about my podcast. Doesn't matter. Your content. The stuff, the stuff that you upload, right? The stuff that you you control and upload and upload. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. So so overall, if you add every, all the content you put out there, right? I have about that much because it's a lot of runtime. It's a lot. It's a lot. I have of no viewer. fucking idea what you're talking about. Do you have proof of that? Like you're just saying that. Yeah. Much well, let him finish. But I have no fucking idea what he's talking about either. What is he saying? Much. That seems a little silly. I have the one of the highest runtime across the internet in terms of like putting out content. Oh, but fair Literally. use doesn't have to do with how long your stream is. It has no. It has to do with like what per. Well, I would say like what percent for me. What percentage of the other person is there? of your video is their video, right? So let's say you react to a 20 minute video, but you played a 25% increased speed, so it's only 15 minutes, like was what I do. But then your video is like 45 minutes. It's like, okay, they're half an hour video. You basically did fucking, you know, a half an hour worth of reaction. Okay, let's just make it simple without 25%. Let's say you watch a half hour video and you make that an hour. And only 50% of your video is their video. I think that that's perfectly reasonable. To do with your commentary on the video. 
If, you're, if your stream is 12... It's a per capita argument, but that argument's never going to hold up because Ethan doesn't do, like, reaction content. And if he does, it's, like, generally very rare. Or at least not, like, full video reaction content. I don't understand the argument that he's making. ...of hours long and you're reacting to an eight-minute video, it doesn't matter. It matters what you said about the eight-minute video. It doesn't matter how long you stream for. So I don't understand your point. So if you, if you let me elaborate on my point... Yeah, let me hear this of, point. Um, ...breaking the semantics, right? Because you, you can... You can semantics. Against... That's how fair you... First of all, semantics can be very important. So to say you're playing semantics is not like an, a dunk argument, right? It's like, hey, you're just playing semantics. Yeah, it's called. We're talking about this to an extent in legal terms. Of course, you're going to make a semantical argument because your semantics really just means that you're talking about, you know, you're 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 involving words. You know, this isn't a relationship conversation. Where you can be like, stop playing semantics, you know, like it's women, you know what I mean? Stink. But I do want to hear his argument, but he keeps going for these dunk moments. This is the second dunk moment XQC's gone for. What is he doing? Stop. Use works. Okay. We're not even talking about the nature of the content yet. Fuck the content. It could be, it could well, be a well, blank. Hold on, just to be what? clear. You said you don't do fair use, but I don't also. So we're talking about fair use, just to be clear, right? Okay. Okay. Let's, um, let's reel back a little bit. And um, stop being stupid for a minute and just kind of like what listen. What the fuck? Okay. That's number I'm three. I, you said oh my God. Um, that what? I upload non transformative content. Yes? You said that. You said that too, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. 100%. Yeah. And oh, I said that you do too. So hard. Right? And I'm not saying, uh, uh, so you would say, oh, oh but if you do, it's like a you two double fault fallacy, right? But in the instance where you try to take the high road and say, well, I don't do this, guys, well, you do. And the re well, my next point, is that an amount of content that you upload, you're non-reactive, <laughs> there's actually quite a lot I don't of know what that means. You have to I stop saying that. It doesn't mean anything. You're just- I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Saying stuff. Well, I'm saying that- You're, you're just doing this. You do a lot of this and this. <laughs> I, it... Listen, so does my wife. And exactly, that's not an argument. Just because you go like this and this and say, well, one's better and the other one's not. That's not an argument. I don't understand what you're saying. You know, there's no stats. There's no data. I don't even know what you're referring to. I have no idea. what he's saying. I mean, if you want to talk, if you want to talk about stats and data, there's one specific video that I just analyzed, just picked one out of the lot. A rapper who got a $20 Anne Frank Ooh, tattoo. Okay. This, this is a re let me just read off some stats what? and you can tell me if my ma matches what up. What the hell's happening right now? So this is a video uploaded to your channel 10 days ago. A rapper who got a 10 minute Anne Frank, uh, sorry, a $20 Anne Frank face tattoo okay Damn. so the original That's, oh, <laughs> rapper who just like ruined his life in like one and a half seconds well i guess it takes a couple hours no video its runtime is nine minutes and 13 seconds oh sorry no the original video is eight minutes 33 seconds okay the video here that yeah. you up that you uploaded is nine minutes 13 seconds that means yeah. you added 40 seconds to an eight and a half minute video adding that's uh pretty bad you know, to be honest with you, I feel like the the shorter the video is, the more you need to react. I know that sounds weird, but it's like um, but it's like uh, it's almost like diminishing returns. You know what I mean? So if you got an eight minute video, you got to add at least four minutes to that video, probably more. I don't know. Well, in general, I'd say if you have an hour video, you should add like another 20, 30 minutes at least at least to it. I don't know, man. Forty seconds is wild. That's fucking insane. Just don't upload that one. You know what I mean? If you do it on your stream, you're like, you know what? This is an eight minute video. I've only added 40 seconds to it. You know, maybe I just won't react. Maybe I just won't upload it. I've done that before. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. You don't even realize it, you know? 7.8% <laughs> oh runtime. Actually, I even did you a favor. I condensed all of your commentary on this specific video into a vo into just a short video because it's only 40 seconds. So I'll show not. this. Ju well, this is important because what you say, <laughs> the commentary does matter. Because before you finish, let, 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 let me go. Oh so you're my. about to prove me right. I said what? I do non-transformative dog shit, yeah. and you're about to show me non-transformative dog shit. Okay, fair. So I don't uh, have to what? I mean, you'll go clap me because I mean, I what? just said I did that. Okay, oh that's my. like that's like saying um. I'm white and I'm I'm on camera. Well, you said that like, yours is more transformative <laughs> so than mine, so I don't ridiculous. understand the consistency. Your the point well, you're trying to make. Now, now that you've brought that up, I mean, sure. Let's look. Um, let's well, hold on. Before you do that, let's just. Well, I do think it's interesting because the yeah. commentary does matter. Okay, I'm just do that. Then. What? Well, they they did all that. They they did this. Uh, he's got he got to show it. You know, they put the work in to do it, edit this down. You know. 
Um, but is this transformative, Ethan? You're stealing 40 seconds of XQC and making him watch it, which is not 40 seconds of his time, bro. Come on. Where? That's too far. Oh, wow. began to notice the music. Arnold what? didn't have the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knows this is one of the What the, the fuck Ryan am I watching? I mean, if that. Frank hey. Frank's tattoo was finished. Wait, that is the response. That, that, that is pretty good, actually. What the fuck? That guy's really good at that. The argument that every time you explain the draw, that crowd, though. Is that Tanner? What the fuck? Adam 22. What the fuck? But what is always the dumbest of any comments? I guess. Pattern, Bro, you want to know what the worst part about XQC about part about this is? Is that XQC doesn't pause to talk. If XQC paused to talk more, it would be it would probably be better. It would probably be like it would probably be a lot more. Well, I mean, transformative. You know, because I do. I would say it. I don't think the commentary has to matter, but I do think that it should be like longer. But if he paused to talk, even if he was just saying, "Wow, that looks pretty good," uh, also if he talked slower, then that would be more transformative. Especially since, like, you know, if you're just talking through it, there's a higher chance of somebody being like, "Okay, like I'll just, I'll just, you know, listen to the video and I just got to hear some fucking idiot babble through it. Not a big deal." But if you pause and you end the talk, I feel like that's more, you know, somebody is less likely to sit through a pause and talk than a talk through. I just, that's just how I feel, eel, eel, eel. Um, you know. They have like one song. I'm not Fair enough. His chat attacks him if he pauses to talk, which is, no, it's not understandable. His chat pause, attacks him if he pauses to talk. That's not understandable. He needs to tell his chat to shut the fuck up. He needs to uh, uh, he needs to condition his chat to not care. Like people who complain that I pause too much, that's my job, asshole. You know what I mean? Like that's what the fuck? What are you talking about? Oh, you pause too much. Oh, that's my fucking job, dickhead. You know what I mean? You can't com you can't complain about that. You're not allowed to. That's my whole job. My job is to pause to talk. I'm gonna die. Fuck my balls. Um, and also play this game very poorly. Only when I'm on stream though, because I I'm focusing on video reactions, so I play worse. What the hell is going on here? Hey, 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 that's legit. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, he's a cat boy. He talks normally and shit. Like, Wait, feel good about themselves. So, so that's the, the, that's the, 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 the entirety of uh, the commentary you added to his eight. And and I think it's even fair. And I know you don't you don't defend yourself on this, so I guess it's kind of a moot point. But the the quality of the commentary, like, you have to be commenting analyzing, uh, being critical of the content you're watching for it to be fair use, but that doesn't matter, right? Because you don't even believe Ethan, it is. Ethan, Ethan uh, I, 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 think, I think you're right. I think you, I think you got me. So I think instead, um, yeah. I think we should... You could have talked about how... Um, I was going to make a joke, but I don't think it would be funny. But yeah, I don't know. You could have you probably added a little bit more to that. <laughs> get an example, uh, one, of, one of your examples then. Sure, I'd um, love to. Let's get one of your examples that that show me the the guidelines. What I should do to react? Uh, how do I? Think? I feel like you, I feel like the XQC already lost the debate. Like, what's the point in even keeping going? This is stupid. <laughs> Sign chat. Can I post this around? Click on that. Bro, I would have played the video too. I, I, if I had my editor sit there and for five minutes and actually go through that, I would have been all low. I'd be like, oh, we're gonna watch this motherfucker. You know, you gotta have. Oh, you're shitting my tits right now. Holy fucking balls! I would have had him do it too. I'm dead. So instead of having my having my example of this, I think we should use yours instead, so I could learn how to be a better creator. How about you click on that? Okay, good idea. XQC's only defense would there would have been like, yeah, uh, I didn't really realize that I have an editor who puts my videos up for me. That one definitely didn't hit the mark of what would be considered transformative. I should take that down and next time make sure to not put stuff up like that. That would have been the fine thing to say, because it's going to happen sometimes. I'd love to check it out. Oh, I have to open it. Okay, I'll open it. Yeah, it's in the chat. Uh, one second here. So yeah, you uploaded to your XQC clips channel. You uploaded uh, uh, five. It, it, you'll see. Dude, you're. It's are you so you it's uploaded it. five? Well, I just want to explain it. You uploaded five uh, clips. Or wait, shit. Okay. I'm. You uploaded this channel so just, fucking just much. Just play it. So when it was my turn, you played my clip. When it's your turn, you don't play the clip, and you just comment before seeing it. No, I'm setting it up for you. I'm gonna play. It. I'm opening it here. Sorry. So okay. here it is. Okay. Here's one of them from your channel. 1.2 million views in six. Now, is it okay if we watch this one? Ethan uh, shows XUC how transformative reactions are done. Number four. This is the one you sure. upload. Sure. Yeah. Number four. Was, oh, number one, two, three, or four. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four. They're all good. <laughs> so here it is. So you can. Uh, to ours. Okay, King. Jesus. 
finally over. Logan Paul apologized. Do you notice a problem already, Felix? There's a cut here. Okay, King. What is this? Why is there a cut there? Oh, he's saying XQC cut it. So why why would XQC cut that up? Huh? Yeah, Just, there's a cut here. So whenever you play my video, did I say, wait, Ethan? I think I think I've seen I've seen something on the screen right there. Is that a dead pixel? Is that is that a, just play the fucking video, bro? Well, I mean, if he if XUC cut it, if XUC cut it, I could see why Ethan would have a problem there. No, like, is, am I fucking am I a fucking idiot? Am I a fucking moron? Jesus okay. Christ. Okay, but it undermines your argument if this you're showing an edited clip. If you're cutting out my commentary and then trying to say I don't you do fair use, this seems a little silly. Just, but I'll play it. I'll just play, it. Okay. play the video. Jesus. Finally over. Logan Paul apologized. Coffeezilla, your slang is he is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, more like an internet criminal. Oops, wrong video. That was the first response. Ooh. He actually There's 10 apologized. Seconds of him sitting there like a response. moron. Look at this idiot. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, not, it's not high effort. effort. No, no, no. It's this the is like not that. High effort. I mean, hold on. No, Here, hold on. Let me get, let me get a not taste of either. Uh, he didn't talk about it. He's literally just sitting there quietly for the first 30 seconds. You should sue him. Fuck you, XQC, you thief. <laughs> this is so chaotic. I don't really understand. I don't really understand what's happening. I'm assuming this is a video of XQC's editor putting a thing together of Ethan not reacting enough to one of the videos he talks to, and then editing Ethan talking about how XQC's lazy over it to try to like say that there's hypocrisy there. But like, I feel I feel like it's too chaotic. You would want to start with like, hey, here's a segment you did about Coffeezilla. His video was 15 minutes, and you only made yours 17 minutes. That's a problem. Not like, here's a highly edited thing. Uh, but okay. Bitch. Turns out it's actually on his secondary seconds. channel. So if she chooses I'll, I'll play the whole thing. Just let me know when to stop. Single if you comment. want me to. It's entitled, thank you, statement. Coffeezilla. But even if Ethan didn't react enough to this video, Ethan, all Ethan really has to say is like, oh, yeah, that uh, is one of the few times I didn't react enough and I didn't realize it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a different, like, again, I think that there's, like, enough grace for some people who just fuck up and, like, don't necessarily, as long as there's only some videos, like, what it's like, whatever. Third response. They could sue no you, and they, would, and, and they would be right to sue you, I think. They would be yeah. in the right. I, I think so. Thank you. <laughs> Paul, and it's a pretty big change in Logan's attitude so far. Okay. So let's see what he has to say to us. Coffeezilla is not a criminal. Oh, oh, that's I wonder if he's going to hire me. What? Do you want to keep going? I'm just, well, I'm, I'm just wondering. It's just, the guy says, I wonder what you have to say. I, I wonder what you have to say about this. Because I'm okay. watching you. You haven't said shit yet. So, I mean. Well, I'm just. It, well, you told me to let the clip play. Do you want me oh, to let no, the no. clip play or do you want me to interrupt it? You got to choose a lane. <laughs> I, I was trying to be, I was trying to be creative with it and kind of do commentary on it at the same time. And I was trying to last, like, I was asking the old Ethan, the guy that's morally above oh, everybody, okay. high roading, to okay. react to it. But he's not saying shit. So there's like a okay. problem with it. Do you want me to keep playing it or? or have play, we yeah, you play it. Okay, you know, fuck. okay, cool. But in all seriousness, oh. this video. <laughs> that's Bro. a good one right there, boy. Does have some major admissions in it I want to go through. For one, Logan apologizes to me. I called him. I apologized. My my criticism of him right now is that he uploaded this to YouTube. Because I understand the nature of. I mean, listen, it's, it goes on. But I I will say one thing. Here here's one one aspect to it. Um, and the video's highly edited, so I don't know. Maybe Ethan only played part of the Hoffyzilla video. But if he played the whole thing, my understanding is that Ethan criticized. Um, he criticized people who will play the whole video and not edit. Now, I could just be wrong. I could have just been, like, misconstrued that. It might be more just about XQC from, like, the last time when he was talking to Hassan. But I could just be wrong. I could have interpreted that incorrectly. But if he uploaded the full reaction to it, which I think is fine because I obviously do that too, and but he still thinks that, like, you should have to do editing to it, then to me that would be a little bit of hypocritical. Um, but then I would just ask the question, like, oh, like, then I would just ask the question from the, that engaging point and be like, oh, do you think it's okay to upload, like, a full video as long as you transform it enough? And then if he said, no, I don't, I would say, well, then how come you did it here? And if he was like, well, it was on a podcast, I'd be like, who cares? It's still on YouTube. It's still a full video. Your commentary doesn't, you know, displace that, you know? My, I'm going to tell you, I find it really interesting that you think this is compelling. This is actually, uh, first of all, there's so many cuts in it. How, it's not persuasive at all. But one thing I do want to ask you about is why you cut out the beginning of the segment when I talked about it. Here's when I set up the video, here it is. And again, the framing, what you say in the before and after is really important. So here's how that clip starts, Felix, which you cut out for some reason. 
Yeah, so Logan made a video. What the hell is it? I went to the H3H Eclipse thing to go see if I could find a... Uh, New Leafy f something. And then I, I saw Ethan's video about this. This is Leafy. <laughs> wow, incredible. Uh, sorry, I was just looking to see if I could find uh, the full conversation here. Video after well, he got absolutely bought, like bought deed for his response. Where he's like, I'm gonna sue you. This is bullshit. You're Why did you cut this? Me. Yeah, oh, so you played a video. An so is that, is that, that a preaction? Is that like um, Oh yeah, it's part of the same clip. You just same. went in. Yeah, preaction. I you. Sh I mean, I don't know. I think it's a good idea to do that. Let's see. Coffeezilla's video is seven minutes long, and there's a clip on here of Ethan reacting to it for 28 minutes. I feel like that's transformative enough. Um, I feel like that's transformative enough. No. In yeah. and took out like 30 second slices from it. So basically, what you're saying is that uh, you're going to the bar, right? Well, and this Logan part coffee. is like where you get in and you, where you get like a, a beer or something like that, right? And the rest of it, you just huh? fucking say, fucking just basically, it's like the intro. So if you put an intro, you're good to say, guys, I have a video today, guys. So and you don't me. understand how fair use works, and, I, and that's fine. But I don't know why you want to debate fair use when you don't care about it. Yes, what you say in the beginning matters, bro. You, you're analyzing, I'm contextualizing, I'm criticizing, I'm analyzing it. That's what fair use is. I'm transforming it. I'm not just... Um, let's see. There's another one. All right, so potentially... Okay, here's a, Okay, so here's the thing. And I'm not going to watch the full thing. Maybe I'm wrong. This is a different react, what I think they're talking about. He reacts to, uh, Eth is a video called Logan Paul apologized to me and it's 13 minutes and 16 seconds. Well, it's and then Ethan's upload react is 13 minutes and 40 seconds. This could potentially be a dunk if the full video is in here. Uh, up, dude, you're a fighter at heart. So he's trying to cool. I am person that he obviously finished in tone. Act. Wait, you could have got him on you this. I in a do start am I mean, below right. Anyone I the. XUC could have got him on this. Emilio, the judge. XUC could have got Ethan on this. That instead of actually like caring about the victims, he feels like he. Tape. he XQC could have gotten Ethan on this so hard. This is a this is Ethan just watching it on his stream. This video. Ethan reacts to Coffeezilla. The video that Coffeezilla had is 13 minutes and 15 seconds. XQC's, or excuse me, Ethan's reaction is only 13 minutes and 40 seconds. Why You could have got him on that. Why not get him on that? You could have, like, he could have got him on that. Why did he say anything about this? This, is, this one's pretty bad, you know? And, like, you know... Why not get him on that on his clips channel? Oh, XUC did like he. Bro, this guy's a fucking moron. Uh, <laughs> does XUC call him on that? Sitting there, and the audience isn't just watching the video while, you know, you you. I mean, you do get up and go to the bathroom a lot. Uh, so I know that you want to, so, but, but that's, but that's fine because you don't care about it. But for you to exactly, think that this is so, proof, you use me as an example for your indemnity. Is what you're saying, Felix? I don't. Do you think that. this clip is compelling? Do you see what I'm saying? That this example is really dishonest. Okay, so in that clip, my uh, my editor edited you your own words saying it. Oh, can Look I ask you him. something? Your editor did this. Have you watched it? <laughs> has, has Ethan done anything? Damn! What the hell? Um. Well, yeah, I watched it. Like you just did. Oh, yeah. you did. Oh, you just so, watched it for the first time. So, so the cuts. <laughs> have you watched the unedited version on my podcast? Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. The, so the then concert, why was this removed? If you don't let me talk, I mean, we, we're not gonna have a conversation. Well, you I just want to get I just want to get to the point. You know, what I mean, because I don't want then, you to deflect. Then, I want to know then, why you cut then, this part. Then when you ask a question, you have to wait for me to answer. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And you said, okay, okay go ahead, please. You I apologize. Asked you did yeah, it looked like there was pausing and talking through the video, but it doesn't really matter. He reacted to his 13 minute, 15 second video with 25 seconds of like whatever else i don't know i'm just saying i don't it doesn't really matter to me but three times it's okay go ahead um okay so there's four there's four of them out of many of them by the way there's there's we only uploaded four because we didn't want you to go crazy with the dms listen 25 seconds of pausing and talking on a 13 minute video is not really sufficient i'm just saying i don't it's not that big of a deal it's just the point is is like on on surface level that's what that looks like it doesn't look like he's reacting particularly hard there he's pausing and talking sometimes but if you're watching a fucking full video if you're watching a 13 minute video and you're only adding 20 seconds to it i mean jesus christ you don't think he played the whole thing
Maybe. That's perfectly possible. Well, that's perfectly possible. With the Logan Cuff. Logan Cuff, he has a little bit of edit at the beginning, and then at the end here, let's see if it's the full thing. Like, come its target. Oh, he just stops it at nine minutes in. Oh, that's why. Okay, well, you wouldn't really be able to get him on that. That makes sense. He stops it at nine minutes in instead of 13 minutes in. So it's actually a 13-minute video on nine and a half minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, okay, okay. We clarified that. We clarified that. Thank you for complaining in my chat, you annoying fucks. You so I hate all of you. No, I'm just kidding. But thank you. Okay, good. We're good. CA stuff. Um, basically, it's pretty much a lot of it is spliced and it's back to back. So yeah, okay. yeah, there is a cut, but it yeah, goes so. up. It's, it's like it's like you're pausing a video, but it's the same what? thing. You go in stretch of the two and a half, three you minutes. You haven't proven talking. that. But here's what I, here's what I will say. Well, well go go to get one other one. <laughs> go get the one from uh, um, Me Canyon. That one is you. Okay. okay. Listen, would, yeah. Go ahead. You com you combo um, mustache twiddling, hair and neck oh. skin, and you do like this. Yeah. And he's my all sorts of things, and that's that's major, that's major react, bro. I, yeah. I, I have to give it so, to you. Right. That's no, you're right. Of, you're right. That's that's me, you understand this concept because you talk about it all the time. Me Canyon is my friend who gave me permission to react. Oh, okay. Oh, was he just talking about not reacting enough to the Me Canyon video? Okay. Oh. Oh, so it's about permission then. So now we're going to go post. Well, I mean, there would be a level of permission there. I mean, if you again, if we're doing debate mode, all right. I don't necessarily believe this, but if you wanted to debate mode, it wouldn't you say like, well, Ethan. Was that made explicitly clear in your video? Because to me, it sounds like you might be signaling to a, to a reaction audience that this is acceptable um, unless you explicitly say that in your video, right? And you could say something like that, I guess. I know, if, if, I'm, if I'm debating, if I'm debating, okay? If I'm debating. Well, so hold on. Works. It is, well, hold on, I, before we move on. Because then you'd I, be having a negative impact on the atmosphere, okay? I'm just ready for the debate. I'm ready for the debate. I just want to make it clear that when you're accusing me of not, adding enough commentary <coughs> that you did upload a clip that's deceptively edited and I mean frankly dishonest why did you cut this beginning part okay so Ethan Ethan why did you cut this unfortunately the, the problem that I have right now is that you're saying that now and you're saying all this this whatever right what? but it's quite literally you in the video that's that's edited that says Dude, you're sitting there cuts in it it does it's not the video how, how oh. is if there's cuts in it how is how is that a representation oh my of my God. analysis all right, then uh, examine exhibit B, the meat canyon one. Then. I already Don't told you I had permission. Okay, okay. So why so do now, I need to look at that? So now it's about permission. All that I'm is saying, one aspect, yeah. In the video, you're trashing me. You say he's sitting. In the, ca in the case of not reacting hard enough, you would need permission. If you didn't do something that, was rea that would uh, be considered um, changing it enough, you would need permission for that. Outside of that, you wouldn't necessarily need permission, though, right? Because, like, you it would fall under fair use. So, like, yes, if you got permission, it is okay. Sitting there for 40 seconds without talking. Mm -hmm. that's, one of, that's one of your major concerns or criticism. It's why it's highlighted so much in the video. That that's the, that's a, a big hit you can do at me. And I'm going to show examples of you yeah. multiple times where you go not only 40 seconds, you go two minutes so here's, without talking. So, so then, so then. Right. I don't have to argue against you. You have to argue against yourself because these are your own words. What the hell is well, you can watch your own video. So here's what no. I'll say about that. No. I, no. I, the oh, damn it. The only real argument that you got here, only argument XGC has left at this point is why did you pick me to talk to you, Ethan? I'm fucking dumb. That's it. And you make the argument that Ethan just doesn't. Uh, he seems to pick the easy fights. You know, fucking Pearl XQC. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know. You're right, <laughs> because the 40 second thing is not a good analysis. That's not a good, that wasn't a good thing I said, because when you're considering fair use, you, you take it consider back it in the totality of it. Take it back. In. No, oh. you're, you still are a content thief, in my opinion. Take it back. In. No, you, why would I take it back? Because if you're going to reel it back and say, oh, I, no, I, I just said that wasn't a good analytical point. I still think you're a content thief. Okay, but so take back what you said then. Why? I believe it. I know I am. No, I apologize no, no. for the 40 second thing. I don't think it was a good analysis. Why? What? Okay. You want to go with the other comments that you made or not? Huh? You want to go with the other comments that you made or not? Why isn't he okay with the 40 second analysis? What am I missing here? I, what, why did he walk that back? I don't get it. Which content, Dave? Back and say, opinion. take it back. I said, because when you're 40 second thing is not a good. No, Here's what no. I'll say about that. No. I, you have to argue against yourself because these are your own words. Well, you can watch your own video. So here's what no. I'll say about that. No. I, no. I, you're right. Because the 40 second thing is not a good analysis. I don't really understand the point he's making. Okay, oh, but, XX, so, 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 so,
I, I know I am. No. I apologize for the 40 second thing. I don't think it was a good analysis. Is he apologizing because of the 40 seconds specifically and it's more about the amount of time or what is he apologizing for? I'm very confused. Okay. You want to go with the other comments that you made or not? Huh? You want to go with the other comments that you made or not? Which comment? We could go, we could go to all. Well, I, noticed, I also know that XUC said that he loves being in controversy because it doesn't matter what side that he falls on. He, he gets more viewership to his thing. So I wouldn't doubt that he came in here and just didn't care if he acted like a fool because he knew that it was still going to uh, get like positive. It was still going to be positive for his channel. All of them. Because you're wrong. You're, you're wrong across the board. So every behavior, every behavior you call me out on, you have done it in those videos. OK, There's if you say so. Them. That that part doesn't like matter though. If Ethan is sometimes not reacted enough, is different from like, uh, and and this is uh, uh, really it seems to be from uh, XUC's own admission. He does he never reacts enough. You know, XUC could just fire back and be like, "No, that was you, you cherry picked one bad reaction out of like a bunch." Uh, but he doesn't seem to be saying that. So, but why? What if do you no, want to? Okay, hold on. Let me ask you a question. What is it, 12, why does that matter? Why does that matter? What? What is what? Matter? Okay, because um, earlier uh, you said it. Do you care about this all the time? Not all the time? And I gave you an answer. You were like, got him. He said it. He said not all the time. When you seem to be the guy who doesn't do any stealing or thieving. And I have four examples right there. Oh, I get with the pro. The pro okay, I understand what XCC is saying now. I, have, uh, I need a fucking translator. Hassan, come on my stream. Um, I think what XQC is saying here. He's so bad. He's so bad at this fucking conversation is that when Ethan said, do you feel like you um, always transform your particular video enough? And he said, no, I don't. And then XQC said, no, he doesn't. And what XQC meant there was like, no, I don't always do that. Um, sometimes I don't do enough. But he would, or he said, no, I don't always do that. And XQC meant that he just doesn't do it enough sometimes where most of it is transformative enough. And then, but Ethan didn't understand that. I wouldn't fucking either because there's nothing explicit here. Um... Like, he didn't clarify that point enough for most people to understand that he meant just sometimes. So that's like, it's fucking XQC's fault for not communicating well. And you're, no, you're... you did not show an example. Well, then, then get, get another one, then. Well, that's not my job. You're the one that's trying to prove it. Why the fuck should I go pursue and try to prove I don't do fair <laughs> use? That seems stupid. Wait, that seems like that's exactly that what you guys have been doing on Twitter and whatnot, right? That's your whole concern. Yeah, I'm showing are... stuff about you and not telling you to go find a video of yourself not okay. doing fair use. That's, <laughs> that's true. moronic. So you said thief, right? <laughs> yeah. Show me one. I just did with the Anne Frank one. You did 44 seconds of commentary on an eight minute, 30 second video okay, where you but, offered no critical analysis. And do you know if I have permission? Did you have permission for that? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I didn't. Did, so did, why did, don't you did, tell him? He's, what is it? Dude, XUC said fucking, he's not helping himself. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, why won't you tell me? Did you or didn't uh, you? Oh, I'm, I'm just saying, are we moving the couple? Are we moving the goalpost? There now? It's not a goalpost. It's just another facet of the conversation. It's not a goalpost. What the fuck is it, happening? It quite literally is when you make it a goalpost. Okay, I do want to talk about. <laughs> I, I should count that how many fucking debate terms this guy uses in the fucking conversation. Holy shit. This is wild, bro. This is insane. No way. Okay. But the permission thing, okay? There you but go. I just want to. I, I do want to say one thing. In my career, in my 10 years of career, I'm sure that there's been times where I have, n I've done a less good job of reacting fairly to comments. Sure, that happens. I'm sure of it, right? And so that's you were a thief then. So you were a thief and you're not anymore. And that's something I acknowledge and something that I'm always working on and analyzing and thinking how I can do it better. It's something it's I, so I really cool. care about. And the reason why this conversation is interesting is because it's something that you don't care about. And I'd like to know, and I'd like to understand that. But are you saying, have I ever done a bad reaction in my whole career? Yeah, pro yes, probably, okay. almost certainly. So, so then, would you agree that e old Ethan, or not too old Ethan, is a thief, sack of dog shit motherfucker? Oh my God. Uh, sure, yeah, in those, if, if that's what happened in that time, sure, I was a dog shit, sack, loot, whatever the fuck you said. Okay. Have you made any efforts to repair yes. the damage or the things that you've stolen from the people that you thieved from? Well... Again, I don't have specific examples. Well, in this instance, like uh, he, Ethan's not saying he he actively knows of a, a time when he used to do that. What he's saying is maybe there are times that he didn't react well. Um, so like, it, I mean, the uh, you would you would say that uh, maybe if somebody came forward and said, Ethan, you didn't really out really react to this particularly well, Ethan might say like, oh, let me compensate you for that in some capacity. Like that would be there. Examples. The there's nobody that's approached me, so I it's you and know. 
Have you taken accountability the same way you want me to take accountability publicly for that? I just did, didn't I? Not, not really. Why not? I just said, yeah, I've probably done that. What do you want so me to you're do? Gonna, you're going to rob a bunch of people and say, guys, I might have robbed somebody. Lol. I'm moving on. I mean, well, this thing's a kind, of a, kind of a cop out, to be honest. Well, it's not like going in a store and sticking somebody up. Fair use is so interpreted by judge or jury. So is it, is it, is it thief or is it not thief? Because the way I see it, the way you do when, it, I when think you is steal theft. something from somebody, right? There's gonna be a process of like finding who's guilty, how much, and there's a whole process behind it. Like the legal system is just like, I mean, don't you care about the legal system? You still need to care about DMC a lot, right? So being a thief, surely you're going to care about that a lot. So did you damage them? Did you talk to them? Did you make an apology? I don't know which word. But that's the thing is Ethan's not even saying that there's a specific instance. He's just saying that maybe there was times that he was doing something wrong. Like XQC is a millionaire in the same way Ethan is, and he has editors. All he had to do is tell his editors, yo, go find something incriminating on Ethan. Go to the subreddit and be like, guys, do you have anything on Ethan? Like, go do something like that. But instead, he's just pooping and farting and shitting himself here. So it just kind of seems. I find it interesting that XUC spent more time like arguing with people in Destiny's stream than he did trying to come up with actual reasonable arguments here against Ethan. He just looks dumb. Like, why even ask for the conversation? This is one of those things that's funny to me. Because, like, yeah, XUC has said that he likes the attention because it gives more views on his channel. But, like, if, if, if XUC just didn't say anything when somebody called him out on Twitter, none of this would have happened. It wouldn't have mattered. Nobody would care. We would have all tuned out of the conversation. This wouldn't be here. So, like, why, why, even, why even respond to it, XUC? Or who the like victims are gotta... or if there are any. All right, let's move oh, on. We're oh. talking in circles a little bit. We want to oh, talk oh. about the permission thing? Sure. I mean, so what you're doing is running away pretty much. You're not, we're not running well, in circles. No, you're I... running in direction, and you're going straight forward. <laughs> That's what's going on. Right. So That's crazy. clearly not the case. But okay. it's, I'll... I'll I will on, just let it be for the sake of continuing the uh, argument. Okay. Gotcha. Keep going, but man. yeah, you do it every single day. I mean, I've done it maybe a few times in my career. I've done, you know, uh, and again, I don't know who the victims are and if they come or, or nobody's ever come to me. Has anyone ever complained that you stole their videos? Um, anybody that has anybody ever? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Because yes. nobody's ever complained to me about that. Oh, so now you care about robbing somebody. Right. Well, the, and if they didn't tell me, well, you know what? We're you're saying the victim exactly, of the crime doesn't matter, which is exactly what you went after me does, with. Does with the else, victim like, of a crime it, not matter? Well, he's asked, he's asking after the fact that the exact argument that you went at what? me for, and you're running away from it. I don't know. Listen, the proof that you have victims is literally just concrete proof you did it. That's the only reason I'm saying it. I don't understand oh. your point. So when we say victims, I said, yeah, you I message XQC still waiting for him. Did you message him before or after Vince? Because <laughs> I'm assuming we're getting to your point in the video where you uh, t where you talked to Ethan um, in there. So well, that, some people you stole from. They're a victim. Okay. So, OK. What the about victims? The victim. The many. Somebody's got to make the video. The many victims of XQC. Wouldn't that be a cool title? Should I make that the title of this stream? That would be stupid as hell, but... I don't know who they are. How many times do I need to say that? This was after, okay. okay. Me reaching out. Wait, what was after? He talks about it in the video. Wait, did you... Did, I mean, like, did you ever reach out to XQC, like, before this thing? Um, I'm just curious. I'm just genuinely curious about that. Out and making an agreement with them. and Every time? Is, yes, we... we I, I, you're not... Okay, listen, Ethan. If you, want to be, if you want to open up the chat and go with the logs, I have so many logs to make your head spin. Let me ask okay? you a question. I, got I, have, you. Over, I, just took a I have hundreds shit of emails sent, people, more than any reactor, which is more than your friend Hassan. He does way less asking than I do. Why are you bringing up Hassan? What does that have to do with anything? Because whenever he was on the I, I mean, at this point, XQC is just locked in. Um, XQC is just locked in, like, debate mode. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to see the uh, the videos. Oh my god, that's so bad. Now in Las Vegas, that's so flying in a stolen air. That's so bad. He's so bad. I just looked at Vince, one of Vince Vintage's videos. So Vince has this video here. Uh, it's a it's it's the disappearances of FBI's most wanted 16 year old. It's a 28 minute video. Uh, you know it's fire. 7.4 million views from four months ago. This guy only has 4,000 subscribers, which is actually illegal. I think that everybody who watches him should be arrested that doesn't subscribe to Vince Vintage. XQC reacts to it, and it's only 30 minutes and six seconds. Bro, this is... 
This is content theft at this point. This is insane. That's insane. Flying in a stolen airplane. What is he doing? That's cr that's crazy. Flying in a stolen airplane, Colton's mission was to escape the United States into Canada. But as he quickly glanced at the gauges, oh my God, the plane's running out of gas. But he couldn't land at the airport. Oh my God, that's fucking wild. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, this is now, terrible. Why is he doing? Wait, hold on a second. I'm gonna just wait, 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 wait. Now wait, in wait. Las Vegas. Oh my God, there's another one. There's another Vince Vintage video. It's 16 minutes and 22 seconds. It's how this device was legally won. XQC's reaction is 17 minutes and 11 seconds. Oh my, this is really bad. Like, I, because I've reacted to a Vince Vintage video before. I think one or two. But mine was at least like an extra, it was like a solid. I mean, I know I did more than a minute. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at it myself. I'm transforming the video. Stop yelling at me to continue playing the fucking video. God damn it. Okay. And by the way, for you saying that you don't have all day, you have all day. You're watching a fat 33 year old react to a fucking debate about dumb, irrelevant internet culture. Don't tell me you don't have fucking time for this shit because you have too much time. Okay, so you knocked the fuck off. We were sucking his balls out. Well, like, okay. That's when <laughs> he does oh, uh, Mr. Chair react and uh, with all Dude, you're respect. so dishonest. You don't, you don't even know what you're talking about. The funny part... Oh, damn. The funny part about this it, with the Hassan thing is you have... There's one argument to be made about Hassan that, like, I don't think that people really make about him. And it's this. Hassan obviously does, like, re good reactions and stuff on his main YouTube channel. Hassan also encourages people to clip him up. He has a cute name for it. It's called the like Hassan Hassanabi Industrial Clips Contact. Uh, whatever con, whatever fucking construct, con balls, p piss, whatever complex. The Hassanabi <laughs> Industrial Clips con uh, Plex. He wants people to do that. There are times where he goes on a stream and he doesn't do reactions that are particularly transformative, and people are generally like for whatever reason people are okay with having uh, doing it on stream, but not outside of that. But then other people upload it, and he doesn't do anything to stop it because he wants the attention. He knows he's not going to upload it himself, and he knows it gives him more attention. He knows it gives him more attention in the algorithm, and so he's okay with it. And we like pretend, dude, are you kidding me? And he pretends that he doesn't know what's going on. He's like, oh, I, I didn't know. Oh, and Ethan was even like, why don't you reach out to somebody and say something? And he's like, oh, I I, they don't care. That's, he does never asked. That's the only argument you really have for Hassan. Is that he 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 wants those to go out there because it gives him more attention on in the YouTube algorithm, but he doesn't do anything about it, you know. But outside of that, like, what else can you really do? Hey, what's up, Acrylic? How you doing, brother? Um, what's going on, brother? Last week, I chewed him out for an hour to the point where that's I had true. to apologize because people well, were you didn't mad have at to me. Apologize. That sounds like your problem. You literally no, don't. Know I that wasn't mad like at you. Your problem. I don't think people were mad at him. I think what really happened is that people that don't like Ethan were praising him, and he didn't like. <laughs> And he didn't like that, which I get it. I get that. So he's like, I have to apologize. This is my friend. My friend is on. It is my problem, but you're not, you have no consistency what you're talking about. You just said I lick his balls, and now my, I proved you wrong. My consistency? You, 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 did not, you're making you did. no sense, bro. So what do you I'm mean it's my problem? piece of shit for doing chair react when he does All right, this, this is so mindlessly dumb. Let's just move on to the perf to per the permission part. You know, you know what? I, you want to fucking keep doing a sprint? Let's just keep running. Let's okay. do a marathon, me and you. How about that? Because we're running a straight line right now. I'm, I'm running after you, and you are going straight forward. Okay, good. I mean, that's the point let's of the go. conversation, right? Let's so just keep going. Then. How, what percentage of people would you say you get permission from? Um, the majority. Why even say that? Just say none. <laughs> just say none of them. But if they have a problem, uh, oh, this is something else I have to see. I, I don't know if he does. I know Asmongold does this. Maybe I should do it, but I don't care. Um... Maybe Asmigold does it. He has a, a, this thing in the description that's like, if you don't like that I'm reacting to your thing, email me at, you know, whatever, uh, dot com. Let me see if I can find him reacting to a video. Uh, okay, here's a reaction video. Let's see. Um, if you own the copyright material, yeah, he puts it in there. So I guess you could do that. You could message him there. Because yeah. the way it works for me, but for react, so the main means. lines, most of the content that I like, I have it all lined up, right? So people that I really like, I like the best, um, we, uh, we reach out to them and we create this little um, kind of partnership, right? Okay. And when there's a smaller creators, I try to be way more careful with um, the amount of growth that they're getting, um, how, how many subscribers that they have. And I try to, I try to be um, better with it. And quite honestly, when it comes to small creators, I have never had any pushback, right? Well, that was a weird thing he just said. Hold on. The amount of growth that they're getting, right? 
And when there's a smaller creators, I try to be way more careful with um, the amount of growth that they're getting, um, how, how many subscribers that they have. And try to that's a weird thing to say. Because to me, that's that's XQC admitting that his content isn't transformative enough uh, and that it actually does uh, cannibalize content. Because if you have to be worried as a reactor about uh, a smaller channel getting growth or not based on your reaction, Jesus Christ. To me, that just indicates that you know that you didn't do enough reaction that would transform the video enough that would make people... Um, that you know that you you just know that you're not transforming it enough to make it basically a different video at its in, in its essence, right? Like I said before, um, you know, if nobody if you react to a video correctly, nobody's going to choose your video over the other video unless they explicitly want to hear what you have to say about it. But if you have to be concerned about a bigger or a small or a smaller uh, channel and whether it's going to have an impact on them, you to me that's just an admittance that you know you're not reacting enough to do any significant like, to, to do anything. And that you are actually just like being parasitical, so that's really that's a really weird thing that he that, that that's just bizarre. I try to be um, better with it, and quite honestly, when it comes to small creators, I have never had any pushback. Right, so no victims in that case. Okay, that's that's perfect. Have you heard of a guy named Vince Vince Vintage? You reacted uh, yeah. to two of his videos. This one was from a month ago. A Do you remember this video? Um, Disappearance the, of FBI's most wanted 16-year-old, XQC reacts. This is from a month that, ago. That was two and a half months, uh, two, and no. two and a half weeks ago. Okay, perfect. Okay. So it was very recent. So, yeah. so would you consider this guy a small creator? He doesn't have a lot of subs. Bro, what do you mean? He's got 400 that Wait, how many... Vince, if you're in here, did you get like a big growth from this specifically? Um, But damn, 400,000 is not a lot? Fuck me in the ass, man. God damn. Jesus. Uh, in fact, here's his original video. In a store. It ha he only has 400,000. Well, that's not small, but anyway, pretty, you did this oh, yeah, recently. Do you know who that guy is? Uh, yes. Okay, why didn't you ask him for permission? Um, I don't know. Did, did, he, did, he, did he complain? Because at this point, I don't know if I have a victim, right? I don't know. So I didn't do well, you do, actually. And what's funny is I literally just reached out to one random person from your recent reacts, just one, who followed me. I oh, knew yeah, I, it's just one. It's just one. It, it, it was only one, for sure. Yeah. No, I swear to God. I <laughs> so you ask, are you a victim, by the way? Let me, hold on. This is important. This is, this is important for you to understand. So I reached out to Vince Vintage. I had big growth uh, spurt last month from one of my videos doing well in the algo. Oh, which one was it? And I said, right. hey, I'm just curious. Did XUC get permission? And I'm going to read you the message he sent me, if that's okay. I'm ready for it, he said, really appreciate you reaching out, Ethan. I've never been contacted by XQC at all for any of my Iraq videos. My personal <laughs> take is this. I love big streamers watching, like XQC, Hassan, Mizkif, Moist Critical, watching my videos on their stream. It's a big ego bo boost. But when XQC does it, it's different. When he watches my video, he always re-uploads the whole thing on his YouTube channel with his insightful commentary as, wow, chat, isn't this crazy? <laughs> Compared to when Hassan watched my stuff, oh my he shouted God. me out and he says he loves my stuff and he sent a bunch of subscribers to my channel. A fair exchange. Here's a video. He, he showed me a video of, of Hassan doing that. And then he said, XQC, <laughs> oh he really just God. steals my shit entertains his audience of hundreds of hours I put into my videos while I get just a link in the YouTube description. The problem isn't the reacting, it's the re-uploading of my video with his face on the thumbnail and also, and, and I don't DMCA him because I don't want the, tri the Twitter drama. Oh. He doesn't <laughs> want the Twitter drama. So XUC would say like, well, he could have just reached out to me privately and I wouldn't have made it into Twitter drama. He could also try to argue like, well, listen, and I don't know if this would be effective. Like, listen, my audience uh, watching it through me wouldn't have watched it through him anyway. We have two different audiences, whatever. Again, though, the biggest problem is that like the video is it's, it's, it's not transformative at all. Like he barely talks. And then, you know, his commentary isn't particularly insightful on the, what we're talking about. So, you know, you're adding a minute to an 18 minute video there's yeah i mean if if you saw that video in the thing you might just be like oh let me watch let me just watch this instead that makes it like that i would say that it makes it a spiritual market substitute because like i said it already but you know it sounds like xqc might is pandering to the people who just go to videos to watch like reactors to watch the main videos and don't really want the reactor to do much outside of that other than like say oh shit um which creates a problem. As a good reactor, you should be annoying enough that if people want to watch the main video, that they just fucking go and turn it on themselves. Because you're annoying as shit.
You know, that's what you have to do to annoy your audience into going into the other video if they would rather watch that. And make sure the only people that are stuck around are people who want to hear you talk. Because I've had people comment, like, shut the fuck up, play the video. Go watch the main video yourself, asshole. Like, that would shut up, you know? Wait, oh, why sorry. are you... Well, hold on. This guy says you stole his shit. Why are you denigrating that? I think you should take this seriously. Oh, my God. Well, because one, is a paid actor, right? Which, huh? I think... <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like... I mean, that's a paid actor, 100%. That's a Wait, paid what? actor? It's... Oh, it's a paid actor. <laughs> it's a paid actor, dude. Come on. He's a literal conspiracy world now. There's no fucking way. He's, he's a paid actor. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, I well, mean, just I mean, it, 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 but think about it from XGC's perspective. Whose actual name is Vince Vintage? Clearly, he chose that name. It's too cool. It's too cool to be a fucking organic name. So he probably is a paid actor because his name is too cool, right? That's my logic. How do you like that? Assume for the sake of the conversation Vince, that he's up. not a paid actor. Okay, put it, yeah, okay. So the first guy you react, right? The first guy you send a message to sends you a paragraph looks like the Bible, right? Yeah. And is stroking your ego out. Well, you know what? That's okay. I'll bite. I'll bite in the bum. Yeah, just, um, yeah. So what's, what's really cool about this, right, is that we can make that type of, type of interaction to have with this person and make it 10 times better um, for our um, ecosystem, right, of uh, how what I watch, what I upload. If he had asked, what, he doesn't have to, he can use the DMCA system. And maybe there will be Twitter drama or not. We usually we never make we never make drama for DMC stuff. But then I don't. Well, XQC I believe just said that nobody's reached out to him before, so he has doesn't even have, did, right. If, unless I'm a fucking moron and I heard that wrong, he had said that nobody's reached out to him, which means that when he says like, oh, we don't usually turn this into a, DM, a DMCA thing, I mean, you don't, there's no there's no example of it ever of anybody even reaching out. So how would how would we know? Right? Am I wrong? Did he? Did he actually? Did somebody reach out to him? I feel like nobody reached out to him. I could have swore he said that in this conversation. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Why are you let not me, responding me, to his accusation? Me, he says you're let, stealing his shit. Let me let, let me elaborate. Let me elaborate. I don't know. Okay. Let me elaborate. Then. He he would he would be a data outlier of a person who doesn't like it, and we can either recurve that, make it better, and I will de damage him for every dollar that he has lost to me. Right, and he had analytics to back up how much the video uh, uh, on YouTube um, cannibalized his or any sort of. Um, well, he, he's saying that because he doesn't think that there are any statistics that could argue cannibalization. And again, there may not be. Vince may not have lost any viewership to XQC, even though the reaction was shit, um, because like that is a reaction audience that like looks for reaction content. So it's quite possible that there was no cannibalism of it. But again, considering the video, there's no commentary. There's a good argument to be made of the speculation. Like, yeah, I mean, there might be people who just decide to just fucking watch it because, like, th there's no loss to it. You only got to sit through, like, a minute of somebody going, wow, every couple of seconds. I mean, like, that's not that's not going to encourage me to turn the video off if I didn't want to hear the reactor. Like, I, I think there's at this point we can make a, a safe bet that nobody's watching uh, XQC videos. Like, or that there's a safe enough argument to be made that um, that there are plenty of people who are not watching XQC for XQC and that they're actually watching him just to watch the video. Managing data or stats behind it, I would be yeah, more, than, gonna be I would more than happy it. to give him 10 times 10x. Whoa! Okay, good. Calls. He'll reach out. Oh. Have you ever paid anybody 10x before? Has that ever we, happened? <laughs> we, we, we have. Been how many times? Before. Who? It arises, if they, if it, if how how many times that, does it happen? Oh, I will have to check with editor, but it, right, it, not it, a lot. It, I'd assume not a lot. XUC still hasn't said anything. It's been thirty minutes. A lot of people do that. Oh, okay. So the amount really um, is what you're looking at then. That, no, just the, the amount of times that people actually take you up on that. Because what you're saying is, I'm going to steal your stuff, and I don't care if you have a problem with it. You can come talk to me. Like that's not that's not your right. Shouldn't you apologize to Vince? Oh uh, yes, I, I it's not it's not his job to come ask you for. For reparations for Bro, XUC is an idiot because <clears throat> at this point he has to play damage control. So he should have reached out to Vince afterwards and be like, oh, hey, man, sorry, I didn't know that I didn't create like uh, enough comfortability for you to reach out and that it would turn into a Twitter issue. My bad, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you hit him up 30 minutes ago and then you are three hours ago and then you also said something else to us. We did. Oh, you, geez, I'm so fucking dumb. Why do you people watch me? Okay, Vince said. He you hit him up three hours ago, but he tweeted thirty minutes ago. So, which means he probably saw your tweet. Okay, now now it's better understood. Sorry, that was my mistake.
That was my mistake. Dude, I'm getting fucking sharded. For on you man. stealing from him. Don't you understand that? So what you're saying is that you went digging for victims. That I literally been... messaged one dude. I mean, even if he messaged more than one dude, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so nobody in your production room believes Why that. don't you just apologize to Vince Vintage? Uh, I absolutely will. And I, feel, I, I didn't get a Twitter DM. I didn't get, no, I didn't get nothing. <laughs> no, I feel really geez. bad. You don't know why? Because all about the, all, the whole sphere of this, oh, everything around it, is to make what a, what a terrible idea this guy just engaged in like he, uh, fucking xqc literally like he could just keep doing his shit and nobody would be the fucking wiser bro something good happen right and that matters that's such a lot. bullshit bro nice try well you guys just uh, it seems like xqc might uh might be uh putting too much negative attention on reactors to the point where even solid reactors like myself are going to be not able to do reactions so follow the robin dan channel in the description because i'm not going to be around for too long on here all right that's what's really going on <laughs> you're ruining it for all of us Literally do it to enrich yourself. You're a multimillionaire and you steal content from small creators and you don't give a fuck about their rights or what they want. And then your only justification is, oh yeah, you can come chase me down and complain and try to get my attention so I can pay you for the shit I stole. It's total bullshit, bro. You're not creating right. anything big for anyone. You're just taking attention and views for yourself and you don't give a fuck about the, the, uh, the consequences of that. It's not your decision to make that for other people's property. You sound like, um, watch out, you sound, kind of sound like a Robin Hood or something. Are you like some sort of hero or something like that? Uh, okay. Yeah, again, like, you know, XUC, if he transformed it enough, he could say, well, no, I don't think I need permission because my content is transformative enough. But, like, the way that he's talking in this conversation, it makes it seem like he knows he's not transformative enough. He just doesn't care. That's what's communicated to me, at least. Yo, fuck off, dude. Because it seems like you do a lot of that. And you Interesting take the high road defense. on it. You take the high road on that. One, that's, that's my point. Okay. You have done that. You do that. You haven't and proven that. Well, it's, it's, it's all. Okay, that, oh, fine. I did it. You know what I mean? It's like so stupid. Should, what is it? Should it what does because the. Because you can't use me as an example why? for your own thing. Because <laughs> you keep saying that. You're doing it's it. Not proven. You're doing it. You're doing it. You call, me a, you call me a thief piece of shit. I mean, bro, like so far, I think I've looked at like four XQC videos uh, or four or five of them. And. They've all haven't been rea like doing enough like reacting. So, uh, what? Wh how many of them are actually like enough reaction? Shit, when yeah. you're doing it, you haven't proven that. I don't know why you keep saying that. Oh, oh, let let me send one DM. I I will, guys. I'm going to send one message, and I he will uh, automatically give me a uh, full response right now. Give me a minute for it. It's possible that Ethan reached out to multiple people, and he's just sensationalizing by saying he didn't reach out to multiple people. But at the same time, like, there's probably so many shit reactions on XQC's thing that um, a lot of people are just, like, irritated. And that's why there's so many people responding to him. Or, or, or excuse me, there's so many shit reactions from XQC that, that might, there might just be, like, <clears throat> people are just irritated. So anybody you read out to, they'll be like, yeah, this guy's an asshole, right? So that's more likely. Okay. You're making fun of this message I got from Vince because Vintage, which is a genuine, he was expressing himself genuinely, and he was disturbed by the way he uses content. Can I ask you another question to, related to Vince? I'll take it down right now. I'll I will take it down. If Vince, if Vince wants to come in right now, I'll take it down right now. I will give you every penny yeah. of that, and I'll say, this ecosystem right, but that's doesn't just, work okay. for you. Let, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. This is Go the ahead. video, and you do this all the time. You'll agree. Yes. Yes. You st you use the exact. <laughs> he even at his editor, find the uh, find the thing. Even at his editor, find the fucking um, or excuse me, change the positioning of the stole six airplanes title and the exact thumbnail. The only reason for anybody to do that is to confuse search and discovery and cannibalize views from the original. That is the only reason to do that. Yeah, so for this argument, I just disagree with Ethan. Uh, or or ex let, me, let, me, let me do like a, a thought out explanation. I don't personally think there's an issue with like repurposing someone's thumbnail. I do it, I don't really care. I think it more matters like once you click on the video, what's in there. If I'm reacting to somebody's video, I'll say, you know, this is the video, I'm reacting to it. Sometimes I'll react to a video and I'll put like a genuine title if it's more of a, again, if it's more of a social conversation video rather than like an entertainment video, right? So there's like the conversation videos and entertainment videos and this is being considered an entertainment video. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like of course you want people to find your video. You want people to know that like hey, I reacted to this person's video. 
I don't think that there's necessarily an issue of using the same title as long as you make it clear that it is a reaction video. And I don't think that there's necessarily an issue of using the thumbnail as long as you put yourself in it so that they know, again, it's a reaction video. Because then that would appeal to a reaction audience, right? Because reaction audiences aren't necessarily into regular content. Again, they're a bunch of lonely people that sit in my stream for four hours every day and then even re watch the uploads after the fact because they're so lonely. They're losers. I'm just fucking with you guys. Okay. So the point is, I don't see this as a particular problem, right? The problem is, is when you click on the video, if you click on it and your reaction isn't transformative enough, people will watch your video for the video. Nobody should be watching your video for the video. They should be watching your video for you reacting to that video because of the commentary that you're providing on that video. So once you click on it, like what is, what are you getting out of it? You're getting a minute on an 18 minute video. That doesn't mean anything to me, right? That's, that's, that is like the bigger issue more than anything else. Um, so that's the biggest issue more than anything else. Do you have any sense to back that up? Because I had the sense of the opposite. Dude, it's the, the thumbnail and the title. Don't you see that users will be confused? Let me tell you something, Ethan. Don't you think so? My YouTube channel does not grow. It quite really doesn't. But you're thinking well, that's because you uh, just post a ton of shit there. No, you don't put any effort into it. Okay. And why do you think that is? Because you don't give a fuck. Okay. Okay. Clearly. So, where's the where's excuse okay. going to go with this? So these are cut downs for the people that we call the YouTube frogs that are just watching my shit. Um, it's not your they, content, they though. You don't get that right. Okay, well, same goes applies to you, then. No, you haven't proven that. You keep saying that, but it doesn't mean anything. Okay, Bro, well, I remember tuning into this convers the conversation with, like, uh, Destiny and... Uh, and everybody, and they were talking about this in XCC, and like, I, not for nothing, but like, ABBA had like some pretty reasonably insightful um, things that he was saying. Um, and it's like, X, all he had to do was fucking write this down. XCC could have used a lot of this. And like, XCC's not talking about anything. He's not, you should be, you should be having a centralized conversation um, around around like what reaction content is and what it means and the transformative nature and all this. He's not doing any of that. He's just saying, Ethan, you're a bad guy too, I guess is what he's saying. And he's just saying that you're virtue signaling. <laughs> it's like, you'd have to, you could say those things, I guess. I don't think that Ethan is doing those things. You could say those things, but you have to have more than just that. That's those have to, those are seasonings to a greater argument, not the whole fucking argument. Show me proof. You asked for permission and you got it. Sh uh, why? Now you're asking me to show you proof. Dude, you're absurd. Why is it? Why? You you think it's crazy, dude? The fact that you're using the same title and the same thumbnail is so parasitic. It's so shady. You you are only doing that to siphon off views and confuse people. There is no other reason for that. Why would you use the same exact title and the same exact thumbnail? Explain that to me. So are you more upset about the title or about the content of the video itself? Well, it's the intention, dude. It's all it's all together. You're you're intentionally and, confusing and people to click your video since, instead of his. Since you're, since you're all about legality, you would understand that intention is one of the hardest things to prove out there, right? I'm talking about philosophy. We already moved past legality. You don't care about fair use. Yeah, no, no. We we, we can kind of like do. <laughs> Just answer the how, question, Felix. How do you how do Why you know Felix? Do that? Oh Why shit! Why did you give it the same exact title and thumbnail? Just answer that. Oh, because I want Bro, to. I already answered that question too. Like, even if you disagree with me. So like when you heard my my argument to that, even if you disagree with me, you go, okay, I get where you're coming from. With XQC, it's just like, yeah, I just I don't I just because I don't care, <laughs> and that's where the issue comes into. Uh, so, <clears throat> why did you want to? Oh, because I wanted to. Why did you want to? Oh my god. Because the the thumbnail is good and it gives the viewer uh, what they want. Right. And, uh, Which is the original video. They want the original video. Yeah. Okay, so the okay, so I'll, I'll tell you since since you you don't like questions, I'm just gonna give you a fact then, right? Okay. Let's um, hear it. people that don't watch React content do not get served React content. If somebody wants to watch us react, it. Oh, this is actually a decent argument. Like, sure, I I just feel like this isn't this is the only argument XUC has so far. So this is not a bad argument. Like people who don't really watch React content probably aren't really going to get React content in there as much, at least. Um, that's fine. Sure, probably. Uh, okay. That's, that's an okay argument to make. You know, you need a little bit more than that, though. You know, because you could argue it's like, you know, people who don't watch React content aren't going to see this anyway. It's only really people who like React content, and it's a different audience. So you're not siphoning off the audience of another uh, person. And if they prefer their video more, they might even turn my video off to watch it. The problem is, is that no, they won't because your video is only an extra minute on a fucking 18 minute video. So it's not transformative enough to make people bug people out of the video if they're not into the reaction. I thought... 
it being cannibalistic yeah. was the problem with you. Papaga, oh, uh, sorry. I actually see sh uh, should have brought Destiny into debate, Ethan, on how Ethan brought in Sam Cedar. I mean, why, though? Like, this isn't, like, a, an important topic, and XUC asked for it, you know? And also, I don't think Destiny would have done that, because I think that, like, it's Destiny's probably goal to, in some capacity, talk to Ethan. Uh, not that he loves him, but it would be good for his career. And doing a surprise, like, uh, jump in there isn't going to be good for Destiny's career. And, like, I know Destiny's very much about, like, optics of a situation, so he wouldn't do that anyway. Because that would just be a bad, like, a short-term business move. Um, <clears throat> you. What, is it not? <laughs> You're going to try to say that the Google algorithm is somehow running D for you? That's crazy. It's stupid. So, so... Well, not that it's running defense, but like obviously, if you like reaction content, you're going to see that more. And if you don't like reaction content, you're going to see that less in your algorithm. Like his, his argument's not bad, but it's just by itself, it's just it means nothing. You're so you said that it's cannibalistic. I give you a hint on why it's not. Well, it's, it's, the it's, intention. Irrelevant. it's the intention. Okay, so now, now it's it. So if you want to just keep going back and forth and say not there, not there, not there. Okay, so you see no you're problem with it. No. No. Okay. And if you added twenty seconds of commentary to his video, and you use the same title and the same thumbnail, you don't see any problem with that. Uh, no. Okay. Damn. There it is. So, so it seems like you really need to say. So it seems that you don't care about, it seems you don't not, not just care about the law, it seems like you don't care about, uh, people, people's artistic, creative, uh, property at all. It seems that you don't have any respect for property at all. IP it's, at least. It's, oh, Ethan could decimate XQC right now in like the worst and meanest way. Ethan could literally be like, it's interesting that you have no care for other people's uh, intellectual property or property in general when somebody broke into your house and it traumatized you to the point. Uh, it's like an incredible point. I know it's a mean argument to bring up, but I've heard XUC talk about it. If you wanted to go for the throat, Ethan, you could have, you could have, you could have gone for the throat. You could have said, didn't you get your house broken into? It's weird that you don't have any respect for property considering somebody broke into your property. Like, I'm just saying, it's fucking mean, but. Seems like it. Um, nobody, to my knowledge, has a problem with any of my videos being up right now. But you're like a prolific a thief. You could say, oh, I found one example of you doing this back in two, whatever year. You're a prolific thief, dude. You do this every day, multiple times a day on your YouTube channel. Gotcha. So I, I, I will go to somebody's house and say, uh, um, take something, and he doesn't care, right? He generally doesn't. And never, <laughs> never reached out. And you go out there, and you go and seek... Your argument is you went to somebody's house and took something and they didn't care? That's a dumb argument. What the fuck? Victims out, right? And you failed to um to establish a pattern of <laughs> what argument is this? cannibalized the way that they Well, there's there. just one. I mean, one is enough, isn't it? Okay. In that case, it puts the burden of proof on you as well, then. What? So you have permission. Why do you yes, because I, huh? I think... Uh, I don't know, need permission to, re to transform content, dude. Okay. So, um... One of the videos that, that, that I have, but I did, there's four of them, so you guys see all of them. Um, if, you have, if you have proof, you, should, you ask permission for, to any of those, you win by a landslide. You don't, you don't need permission to transform the content enough, generally speaking. Like, I would argue all my reactions are transformative enough that I don't need uh, any um, permission. But I would still, like, take stuff. I still would, uh, wouldn't react to somebody who didn't like being reacted to. Because, like, I get it, right? Like, it's like, okay, unless it was conversational content. I talked about that before. What the fuck is this argument? Why would I need proof to transform a video? Oh, I mean, the only yeah. one is me, Cannon, because he's my buddy. There's obviously ones where, like, it's obvious where your buddies. I actually did ask me, Canyon. Oh, uh, it's, it's obvious. So I, I well, you understand that. that on Twitch, you, too. There's people that everyone. But that's believable. So, like, even if you, like, that's, that makes sense as an argument. They're like, oh, it's like, I, like, you're friends with this person. Like, yeah, okay. It's, yeah, that makes sense to me. I wouldn't doubt that. It's what the fuck. It's friends with, and, like, but, but, but this guy, you. I mean, don't worry, guys. I'm friends with Destiny. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. I, I don't even have to ask permission. That's how my best friends we are. <laughs> and so, yeah. okay, then. So you're making assumptions about me, but we're not making assumptions about it's not you. an assumption. I have a literal fucking message from the guy you stole from. It's not an assumption. It's literally a fact. <laughs> okay. So the whole reason why this debate was in the first place is that people were finding victims that didn't exist. They're saying, "Oh, this I is did. a problem for people." Okay. Okay. So you found a person who doesn't like it. Yes. And there's multiple oh um, God, ways out. Actually, he even everybody. specifically named you as the problem. He said the other people actually clouded me up where XQC completely stole my shit, added no valuable commentary, and then stole oh my, my views. God. That's specifically what he said, actually. Okay. So <clears throat> the guy's a problem. And instead of reaching out in any way, shape, or form, 
um, he, he waited for you to the savior of the earth. So first of all, like that would be his only argument. It's like, yeah, you know, the, the savior of the earth thing is just like ridiculous. But to just say like, oh, well, he should have reached out to me. Like I wouldn't have created a Twitter issue. Um, but even when he said that before, it made it seem like he maybe would have. But anyway, that's neither here nor there for right now. It's not necessarily relevant. Um, like he could have made that argument, but I would have moved past that. You, you, you know, XUC keeps engaging. Like it's you. Why do, he should have never done this? He just should have never done this. He's just getting completely just decimated in every way, shape, and form. This was just not a good look for him. It doesn't make, it doesn't help him at all. Come in <sighs> and just. Robin Hood and just be a guy's like, I got you, bro. Why? Oh, helping people is well, cringe, uh, guys. Do, oh, do, do you really not understand the concept that small oh creators wouldn't want to start shit with, with XQC, one of the biggest, uh, with the craziest fan base in the world? Like, is craziest, that really a foreign idea to you that they wouldn't want to deal with this po power dynamic? Like, you would crush them if you said anything. They're, your fans would harass them into oblivion. That's too yeah. foreign for you to, to understand? So, so th this guy, um, for a case of subscribers, uh, big use YouTube videos, small creators that's about to fucking die from something. Ethan is here for to save the day. This person will now be able to afford some food what and eat some rice tonight. What the hell is happening? Well, right I'm now? just saying because if you make, try to make a portrait, if you draw a picture on who this person is, and you say small creator like struggling and whatnot, instead of he, I'm saving him, and you're just so he, mis right. you what are misrepresenting. Fuck? So he doesn't matter. What is oh, happening? Yeah, yeah, he does matter, but okay. not, in the capacity, not in the capacity that you're trying to paint. Which is what? I don't understand what you're saying. A small struggling either. creator. Somebody please help this person before I mean, he goes out of business. I, I I don't get it. I don't get what's happening here. So the argument to be made, again, with XQC, specifically not transforming it enough um, to the point where like people won't click off, click off of his video. Oh my God, click off his video if they don't enjoy reaction content is that it could happen to a smaller creator that would lose a bunch of, that could potentially like lose a bunch of views because you're not transforming the content enough. And so if it's happening to bigger creators like Vince Vintage, it might happen, or me, we'll say medium size, because apparently that's not fucking big, even though I'm only 20, whatever. If it's happening to other creators like Vince Vintage, what happens like it's about the even smaller creators, that's where the, uh, like what happens to them that you might potentially react to, right? That would be the argument. That, well, no, I didn't say any of that. Well, uh, you did. You, uh, you, you, quite, you did. You just did. I actually quite literally did not say that. I'm where the fuck is this fucking thing? Let, well, okay, I was up front. Well, he that. actually even said that he's not necessarily a small creator after he realized he had 400,000, but okay. This sub count, I looked at it. Uh, but anyway, let's see. My, I mean, my, my bad. I was just wrong. I was just mega wrong. Uh, let's move on. Let's, let's you keep have running. been this entire time. It's fine. Um, right. So yeah, I'm sure you're. It was funny. XQC was harassing Ethan or, or mocking Ethan there, but I don't, I don't think I think Ethan realized it and just moved past. You're familiar with this <clears throat> thread because he actually gave you permission to perform this analysis. Internet Arc uh 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 Arcanus Arcan eh. Yeah yeah, this is the guy I think that reached out to me and like just said, hey, can you change the title of your video to have, like say that it's a reaction? Like, and I was like, oh yeah, my bad. And or or put the thing in the description or something like that. And I, I did it right. Archivist, he said, Archivist. I let. Uh, he said, I let XQ, XQC repost a reaction to see the impact it had. Okay, and the analysis is basically the video witnessed an 87% decrease in impressions on the day of the re-upload. It was, well, so for this one, this I think this actually helps um, our buddy here. I don't know if you could see it because I have a game on the other screen I'm playing my PlayStation, but if you look at it, after the video was released, it was already going down on the day that XQC released this thing. This looks like a normal curve on the way down, regardless of XQC. Um, like this, if you could see the curve, I know it's really small. I'll zoom in on the video or just take my word for it. Like, yeah, I mean, this looks like a normal like reduction. I doubt XQC actually had an impact on the reduction of it. Um. It was already on the way. To, most people front load watch your content, and then like some of it happens in the back end. I'm just saying in general. I don't think that this is necessarily proof of anything. Okay. He would have. Can he show other? Can he show a comparison of like? Yeah, I need to see like five other videos of his <clears throat> to see if there was a difference in the curve, and then that would prove it to us. And the video also witnessed a 52 percent decrease in viewers on the day of the re-upload. Uh, and uh, let's so so. I mean, yeah, I'll you you would have to you'd have to show your average. Um, you have to show your average scale. You have to show like the average, whatever it, it, there is, because that by itself is is frankly meaningless. It doesn't actually mean anything or communicate anything to the audience. But of the evidence that <clears throat> I've seen, 
then it, it actually shows that it has either a negligible or potentially even a negative effect on the original video. Gotcha. So, and actually, you, he even made you change the title and the thumbnail. So why do you think he asked you to do that, XQC? He said, don't use the same thumbnail and title. Why do you think he asked you that? Because as a uh, creator of the IP that like you like to fucking say... Would you because you it? siphon views from people, dude. It's so fucking obvious why you do it. You ask a question and you answer yeah, for me. You're not you, being want, you, can have, you can have a monologue if you want to. You just mute me and just go on a fucking rant. But if you want to ask me a question, you have to answer the, listen to the answer. Um, here's the answer. He controls the IP. He wants to be different, right? And he wants some changes. And he um, he uh, spoke to us, right? So instead of cr instead of crying and being a little bitch, it seems like like Vince. Um, so Vince seems, is crying and being a bitch. Is that what you're saying? That's, that's all I said. Wait, 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 where's my mouth? Are you well, like, I don't know who you're is, talking is, about. Is this, is this Twitter or what? I don't no, know I don't mean. To, I just want. What was he looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. What is this even that he's looking at this graph? I'm trying to find this graph. Um, I can't see a graph comparable to mine. Wondering who you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so then, so then, um, like I said, I, I was saying, <clears throat> instead of being a little bitch ass, right? I think he understands at least that there's some positives to it, if not a lot of positives, and some of them can actually do oh, better. Oh, right? this graph. Um... XQC. This graph. I, yeah, I don't know. It looks it looks similar to like a graph that I'm looking at right now for like a video. It goes on a downturn, I guess. I don't know how what he's looking at exactly uh, that I would be able to compare it to. I, I don't know how to get to like the one that looks like that. This is actually just time. This isn't even the right one. I'm a fucking moron. Holy shit. Whatever. Anyway, I get it. Bitch ass, right? <sighs> I think he understands at least that there's some positives to it. If not a lot of positives, and some of them can actually do better. Right? He didn't show any positive. Okay, if, if it was only negative, he would have asked us to take it down and would have done that, right? No. Well, not in that case. He wanted to. Uh, in that case, he wanted to make prove a point. So he, of course, he wouldn't take it down. If XTC's actually listening to what was being said here, he would realize that. But again, XTC just has to say like, well, videos naturally have a reduction in views after a certain point. That looks like it's just had regular reviews. I don't think I cannibalized his audience. I think that my audience like watched like that's all he has to say. He it's left it up for the experiment and he said, do not use any of my other videos without my permission. He literally told you that. So it's a social experiment at this point. It's like a, it's like an, an experiment. So now, now it's the guise of experiment and it's, he's only letting you because it's an experiment now. Okay. Well, Thank I showed you. you proof it had a negative effect. Do you have proof it no, had no, a positive no, effect? Well, he didn't show proof that it had a negative effect. All XUC just has to say that's not proof. You know, it could be, but it's not enough. It, you have to show more than just that. No, you didn't. No, what? You, didn't. You, you absolutely did not. Absolutely not. So, show the stats again? Sure. Uh, let's see. Maybe so, you can explain how this is good. He said, uh, that's not good, but it like this looks like a normal trending downwards of the video. There's a little point there. There's a point here. There's all points all over the place. Like, it, this looks like it would be the normal like growth rate of a video. You'd have to show more than just um, this. I'll let you describe the video witness an 87% decrease in impressions on the day of the re-upload. So hey, Ethan, that, Ethan, explain that dub to me. Go ahead, Ethan. Um, do you, in your position, have a time machine? Okay, this is such, such a terrible argument already. You do not. Gotcha. Um, since we're going to do the whole, I, I'll answer for you. You do not have a time machine, right? Okay. Um, it is impossible to know how the video would have performed and how it went down in this its natural curve over time. Right? Would I watch it? That's or an not? assumption. You have no proof. You're right. That is an assumption. You have no proof. But you're also making an assumption with no proof either. You have you have information that can be interpreted differently. For all we know, it might be proof. But again, like in order for this to be more of like a, a proof worthy thing, you'd have to um, you'd have to show more than just one video and be like, look, it, 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 the video wasn't getting as many views after I released it uh, after the first like day or so. Um, because like you yeah, know, shit. That's how all videos are. Usually, like you get fewer views on a video. Most of the time, you get front-loaded view uh, viewership on your videos, so that's how you would interact with that. <clears throat> but, I have oh, proof. So you use so I have analytics. Use, so one data set, right? You have no Two. data set. These I have oh. a data set. Oh my god! And I also, have. you're the dude stealing content, so the 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 onus should be on you to stop, prove stop, the great stop, benefit stop, stop, stop. of it. You you okay? I, I get what you're saying. Okay, I find it a little bit dishonorable and a little bit um, disappointing. That in the middle of a, Sorry of a to conversation about, you, about, about analytics, you're uh, spewing words to your audience and mine about uh, me stealing and whatnot. 
when we're trying to, to prove that it quite literally doesn't happen anybody you're muddying the waters for no reason Unpack i'm muddying the waters that's fucking wild okay that's that's Larson super chatted four dollars and 99 cents do you think Ethan is doing well in this or anyone could win against XQC? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I've beaten XQC here is a real tough one. Yeah, obviously XQC is getting dumpstered in this fucking uh, this fight. I feel like, though, if it was anybody else that was just reaction content, they could probably... Like, I, I could... Well, I couldn't make a case for XQC's content because this is dog shit, but I could make uh, I could make a case for my own that it's that's transformative enough and everything. I mean, it, it's fucking XQC. He really can't argue anything. Please. Could you stop, please? Seriously, I mean it. It's gonna, it's gonna get really bad. I don't want to do like the whole insult uh, ad hominem thing because you're doing that. Okay. Okay. Just a, okay. it's just a statement of fact. So, um, not an insult. Okay, I mean, okay. <laughs> so as we go forward, you are fucking bald. You're very bald. You're balding. Your your hair is thinning, and it's gray, which is. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening right now? He's balding, and his hair is thinning, and it's gray. That means that you're old as fuck. Got it. Okay, shall we continue? Is this fun the to premise is, is faulty, my friend. Is, yeah, is, he's not even balding, man. I'm definitely balding. I, 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 it's terrible. What is this? What is happening? Is this fun for you? I have a you? beautiful hairline. Baldi, baldi. <laughs> is this fun for you or not? If you were gonna do that, XQC, I would have went with like that. You can't get your like dick hard because like you're on medication because you're depressed because you're a loser. I don't think any of those things. I truly don't think any of those things. Okay, I I'm gonna be very clear. Okay, I don't because I that's terrible. You know, my wife and I are having trying to have a kid, and then we're having complications too. But if you're gonna go and do stuff like this, um, you know, what, what, saying someone's bald, it's like okay, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. You know, if anything, me being bald means I have high as fuck testosterone, pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm having trouble with the premise. It it, it has a striking resemblance to you don't. trying to argue your other points. It literally has no premise at all. That's no basis in you're reality. Just, you're just throwing insults for the sake of Go ahead. Of I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to sit away. I'm going to pack. I'll sit away. I don't even think okay, he's being insulting. You. He's not really being insulting. I mean, he's claiming you're stealing content, but I mean, he has a decent argument there. So. Okay. So... <laughs> I don't know if you've done any any um, statistical analysis in the past. I don't know if you've uh, maybe had a stat class. Yeah, I don't have to spend money on shampoo, pussy. You got a fucking problem with that? I don't even have to shower anymore. I don't have to wash my hair. I don't even need a shower. I don't even shower. Let's beat that. Do you have any experience with statistics or not? Go ahead. Stats. Do you have any experience? Um, it's a question. Do you have any experience with statistics or not? Go ahead. Just just make your point. What does it matter? Okay. Okay. The curve of a video and on how it performs. That looks like a natural curve. Right? There you go. It's already going down before I watch it, and it keeps going down at a certain rate um, past it. Right? Do you have any proof or um, any indicators that the video would have performed poorly or better um, after the reaction? <laughs> okay. So obviously, the any data that we do have, which is of course just one definitely proves that if it did have an effect it's negative or negligible and as the guy what he just said what okay so what he just said was if we have so okay ethan's basically admitting here that there's this isn't proof of anything um right and we're in a debate so obviously ethan's gonna go like he's gonna rally for his cause so i, I expect that from him right but my thing dude what okay well fuck me in the ass but um <clears throat> this is a great picture of ethan this is not proof it's speculative I, who is <laughs> try i mean right I mean, you certainly can't say that this helped so, the video. So, Are you so, actually arguing that a 87% <laughs> decrease helped the video, XQC? That's really what you're arguing to me right now. That's yeah, awesome, so, dude. So, so we're going to go ahead and have the conclusion that you did not have a, a, statistics, a statistics class at all. Well, I understand you, your point, but like... Ben, but ben. but it's, so, it's not making any sense. And the, and the, how is it that... If, if, if the problem, too, is like when it comes to the optics of a debate... If you come off this smug, people are just not going to, it's not going to really hit. Like people, I, it's just annoying how smug he's being. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just like annoying how smug he's being. It's like so unnecessary. So I, I think it's a big turnoff as well uh, for like a lot of people. Uh, a 52% decrease in viewers is a dub for you. Um, because it could have been a 65% um, it could have been a 65% decrease, right? Maybe. It could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been worse. But okay. Do you have any proof that it um, that it would have been or would have been? Do you have any data behind that or not? I mean, all all CC has to say, like you already said, part of it is that this is an actual proof that it was because of my video. It's quite possible that it's just because it's a natural curve of the video, and on top of it, like reaction content, might, like it doesn't it doesn't have to have a positive impact on the creator necessarily. 
<clears throat> it just doesn't have to have a negative impact on the creator. Right. That's how he would respond to that. Um, that's, I mean, dude, uh, that, that, that's such a silly way to try to deflect from this really compelling data. Because in really my data sets, all, I have a but... lot of sets, a, a bunch of them. <laughs> And all the video it seems curves to have me the that same... you're looking for any excuse, any out to justify you stealing content from people, even and in the face it... of data that suggests that and it's not okay. And here it comes. When the man fails to compile data properly, like somebody who knows what he's doing, you make a conclusion based on one piece of data that you don't even understand. Is this a, a way to proceed with for you or not? Is this a way to, you, to argue and have that conversation? Or, or what, what's going on here? I don't get it. Well, me neither, dude. You're trying to tell me that. <laughs> I don't get it either. Significant... Well, Decrease in views is a dub. Ethan, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just lost 16 like viewers since you've talked. Clearly, uh, you're robbing me. Like How do you know it's, that it's, if you're not boring? Maybe you're the fucking boring one. Oh, you're saying it's impossible to know because we we only have one. No, I know. Line, you're right? you're definitely more. All right, that was uh, that was the first kind of okay argument that like XUC made. If, like <laughs> that was an okay argument. Of like, oh, I lost viewers. Is it because of me or you? I, I was okay, <laughs> but it's a fu but like the expectations are on the fucking floor because XQC's arguments are so bad that anything is like surprising that he says something that wasn't fucking complete dumpster trash. More boring and not as fun to watch. Oh, that's okay, a fact. Well, that, well, that really um, that's that a joke. Of course, though. I think you're very entertaining. You're very talented. Oh, thanks, man. Um, okay. So I'll say this. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> okay. Ultimately, uh, I'm I'm pretty perplexed by this uh, this uh, conclusion perplexed. that I guess negative data, even just one data set. Okay, I got you. Uh, you know what, dude? You want you want to go? I really didn't think you would bite on the data thing because you were gonna get fucking clapped, right? <laughs> but since you want the data, okay, okay. I mean, even though you're the one that has to prove something that's negative, I can. I'll, I'll prove Before you, you do that, can you do me a favor? Read number three of his stipulation. Okay. Which, which oh, hold on, they'll, they'll, Dan will pull it up. Use a different thumbnail for XQC reaction videos to prevent any direct competition with my video and it's minimized. Okay. Yeah. This is one of his stipulations. Use a different thumbnail for XQC reaction video. Any direct competition with my video and minimize. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'll read it because <laughs> with peace and love, I don't think many people understood that. That's true. Use a different <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> it's so true, though. It's so, it's so true. Holy Jesus. <clears throat> That's I mean, funny. just just being fair. Use a different thumbnail for XQC's reaction video to prevent any direct competition with my video and to minimize viewer confusion. Direct competition, viewer confusion. Even he thinks so. That's why you what? use the same title and thumbnail. Again, I don't think that the viewer confusion argument's good though, because like if you're confused by seeing a massive face of XQC and the title says react, like XQC reacts in it, then you have like then you're kind of then you're as a, then you are as intelligent as XQC. Like I don't know what to tell you. Like I don't think that viewer confusion is a factor. There's a difference between like viewer confusion and like, hey, like I'm react. I want people to know I'm reacting to this video. Like you know, it's a reaction. You turn the video on, you see some asshole in the bottom corner. Again, the issue is is that like when you get in there, if you're not there for the reactor, you're gonna stay for the SQC's case because he barely reacts to the video, right? So that's like the bigger issue more than anything else. And SQC can even go as far to argue, which he can actually. Um, but he could be like, oh, well, I did less reacting on this video because somebody told me I was allowed to react to the video. So I didn't feel like I needed a lot of uh, transformative content or something. I guess. Just trying to ex help XQC here, guys. Now, bro, why are you denying reality? Well, that Valor accent, I just lost fucking 16 viewers again. Holy fuck, it's kind of crazy. It better be funny um, or something, bro. Well, I'm, I'm just telling you. React just harder, saying... XQC. The one that says you brought that's it. Hey, listen, you're the guy who sits like this in fucking 20 degrees and does this. Oh, so, okay, so right, the, too, the transformative <laughs> nature is is about how how straight you sit. Got it. Oh, Ethan, you want to. Oh, what if I sit incredibly gay? Is that is that okay? Talk about amount of transformation. Then if we want to move on to that topic, let's just get some of your uh, your I think your wife's old merch, right? Which is a oh, direct yes. I love one to this one. Topic. I, I saw that. Oh, I've seen it. And I'm some sure of the arguments have. they had some of the oh, arguments you had against. Oh, he's gonna go uh, he's gonna go with the, the transformative nature of the clothing. I will say I watched that. Ethan was fumbling around a little bit on that art, but I don't I just don't really care. Some of it he had bought the fabric, some of it was probably like his employees coming up with ideas that looked like other people's ideas, which is probably not ideal. Um, but there's like again, I mean, I just think it's a bit different than what we're engaging with here though, to be honest with you.
Oh my god. Mm. I think I changed the angle by 16 degrees and I changed a little bit of the gamma color on this one. That's very transformative. Okay, Ethan, I'm going to watch your entire thing not react in any way or form. I'm going to change the color of the gamma and opacity and I'm going to rotate it sideways. That's going to be transformative, right? I guess technically Ethan, it is, but come on. Yeah. So let me ask you, let me before I address that and I'm happy to. I'm going to address everything you said about Teddy Fresh. Go ahead. What does it matter if I'm a hypocrite? How does that affect this conversation we're having? Um, Genuinely, because we're talking about the I, philosophical name. I mean, I guess that's an argument. <laughs> He's not necessarily wrong, uh, but it would affect the credibility of you making the argument in general. Like that would it would be make it would it would affect your your credibility as a as a as a content creator. I suppose I don't know. I, I just, maybe. So I don't. I also don't care because I don't think it's relevant. So nature of taking people's videos, right? And I'm having this conversation with you, but instead of answering the question, you're constantly deflecting to prove that, no, I'm a bad guy. And I don't see how, why you would do that other than the fact that you don't have a good Fuck argument me, to, to argue the substance. Like, why do you keep deflecting? What does it matter if I'm a hypocrite? Ethan, you know, sometimes you, you, send, a, you send out like a tweet and people still, uh, people comment in the bottom and they say, there's still time to delete this. Um, Ethan, there's still time to fucking end the call and you go about your day, okay? Before you say some really fucking dumb shit, okay? When you're out here saying, what does it matter that, Get I, to the I, fucking I, point, that I'm a hypocrite? I'm just saying, when you say, well, dude, um, what does it matter that I'm a, that I'm a hypocrite? Well, no, I'm genuinely curious, but I'll answer the Teddy it, Fresh before you do your monologue. It discredits all your points and makes you look no, like it does it. No, I'm you genuinely took the high curious. Road. No, no, no. You took the high road no, I really want you to answer it. And you fell on your face flat. No, it's time to let on the facts. No, it's an interesting Prove philosophical wrong. question. Prove, Prove me Why wrong. Okay, first of all, t the Teddy Fresh thing. So, Teddy uh, Fresh is a company with 30 employees. And by the way, I love whenever someone's losing a debate to me, they bring this up. It's literally the lowest hanging fruit. And if you know anything about me, you oh. know I've talked about this a thousand times. Yo. But I'll address it because you brought it up. Go we, ahead. We Ethan. have like a whole team of designers. And Don't sometimes care. our designers um, are, are taking stuff way too close to the source. And I agree. I and it's not OK. Give a fuck. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was actually a good response. <laughs> That's good. I was like, okay. so that, like, sometimes it happens, man. I get that. Like you have designers and you can't micromanage everything and they make a mistake. And if they make that mistake too much, you should probably, um, you know, deal with that internally. You know, uh, you can't as as uh, as he's not. The, I don't know if he's their boss or it's really his wife's boss, but you don't want to. You have to be very careful um, about saying to people in general, whether it's a public or private setting, that you want to fire them for doing a bad behavior, because then you could argue retaliation in different ways. It's bizarre. I remember my mother was like a big manager. Uh, she's a manager at White Castle. Uh, and she would always talk about like if for people who are doing extraordinarily poorly at their job, you never said do this or we'll fire you because then they have like a, they have better grounds to sue for retaliation. What you want to say is like you you know we, you are a valued employee and we want to uh, maintain uh, we, we want you to maintain employment here or something along those lines. It was something like more like uh, you know wordy, um, of course because you don't want to invite the the concept of a retaliation response in any capacity. You don't want to even go closer. So does my editors, which makes us about equal on that topic. No, it doesn't make you equal because you're the one that creates like your editors aren't helping you make reactions. They are just taking your stuff and uploading it. They're not really I don't even know why you have editors to be absolutely clear or honest with you. It doesn't really make any fucking sense. It's different. They're they are making the, the, the it's their responsibility as the creators to create the shirt or excuse me. It's the responsibility of those workers to create the designs for the shirts. And then like Ethan and Ela or whatever, I think it's Ela's business, but they, they facilitate the distribution of it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is very different from you making the video. You you are responsible for designing your content and then having other people just do some stuff to it. So you can still sometimes when somebody gets confused no. at the company, you want to? when, when, you when one of the want. sweatshop guys gets gets it wrong. Hold on. Oh, my bad. So but when my editor gets it wrong, oh no, we, we are thieving. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my point. Yeah, bring out Hila. Hey, bring him in. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I didn't, hold on, hold, I didn't. On, hold, on, okay. hold on. Your husband is bald. <laughs> Why? Just why? Just what are you doing, bro? This is crazy. My husband looks awesome. Dude, my hairline nice. is... You awesome. really... Okay, dude, the fact that you're coming for my hairline just proves how fucking delusional your whole... That that's true. a metaphor for your all of your arguments. Okay, Teddy Fresh, <laughs> we have designers, right? And it's a big... We have a fairly large... What the fuck? When did she get here? Is she actually sitting next to him, or is this a is this a computer generated image? I'm confused. Company, this is a common problem in all streetwear. We've had designers who who have 
pretty much close to stole designs. We fired people over it, and every time it comes up, we have company meetings and say, guys, this is unacceptable. If we've, you're caught doing this, mm -hmm. you will be fired. And the, we've made a strict guideline, and it doesn't happen anymore. What have it you hasn't done? happened. What have you done you to know, prevent it? Okay. So, okay. this is really good. You, okay. <laughs> okay. You, you done? Okay. That's what you sounded like. Okay. <laughs> is he done, or...? What no, he's done. You can talk. He's done. This is I'm like just being silly. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know how you put up with this shit. I would fucking leave his ass. Uh, You're <laughs> bro, I'm uh, having a third child with him. Damn. Oh, no, you're getting God. divorced. <laughs> Wait, XUC didn't even say we're getting divorced yet. Go ahead. XUC is getting divorced. You know, you know our <laughs> four-year-old, though? <laughs> there we go. Somebody, that's the fucking real shade to throw at XUC at this point. Where he's going with this shit. Fucking talk about it. How he had his house broken into. Go, go bananas, bro. We'd love your giraffe. I don't know who you got it for, but our four-year-old would love your giraffe in the back. Don't buy it. It's a, it's it's what you're pricey for no reason. It's a, uh, but I like it a lot. Okay, yeah, it's really cute. Uh, okay, so let me. Let me Ted, just, uh, sorry, so, Ela came to defend Teddy Fresh because you're talking about. I her actually business. wasn't yeah. planning to come in, but yes. you brought up Teddy Fresh. Listen, then talk to me because uh, I'm um, the person okay. running Teddy Fresh, yes. not him. Yes, yes. If you oh, want to talk about it? Talk to me. I uh, understand, Hila. Okay. And the reason why I brought up that point, okay, is that sometimes some things happen where some it's somebody else's it's somebody else's fault. It's a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's a whatever, right? And some things just kind of happen, right? It's, that's not that's not this. Instance. You can't even close to argue that. What the fuck is he talking about? Got a human, na human nature and just a totally. of time. That's and such that bullshit. And the question is, what do you do about yeah, it? Yeah, what are you doing about it on a daily basis? I took, exactly. I took action about it. Yeah. And it's not, it hasn't happened. Yeah. Since so things so, so came up so online, people pointed out to us. We had meeting, we had meetings at the office. We made oh. guidelines when oh we work God. with new graphics. What are you design. doing about it? That's the question. What are you doing? Okay, okay. So if you guys stop bombarding and you actually listen to the this answer, this isn't bombarding. Bro, answer. I'm talking. Stop with the fucking posturing. I'm defending my to, company. Just answer the question. You don't need to do these. You, these like, if you'll stop interrupt, just answer the fucking question, bro. Nobody cares. All right. I, I, I okay. I'll answer the question. Oh okay. Um. So what you what you are agreeing with me is that sometimes, right? There's gonna be a mistake. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be something that somebody doesn't want. Daily and you're basis with you. Lisa Larson super chatted $1.99. No, no. <clears throat> your community is so nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I appreciate when people donate to me because then I have to listen to it and then I have to pause the video and that just increases the runtime of the video organically, guys. Keep giving me money. I'm just kidding. Don't give me money. I'm just fucking with you. Thank you so much for the donation. Go on. And you will rectify it after the fact in hindsight, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What, what we did is not okay. You continue to do it on a daily basis several times. I do remember. I do remember when they first got uh, when Ethan first heard about this. His answer was kind of shitty. Uh, he was kind of floundering around a little bit until like they looked into it internally. But it's, hey, you know, what? you know, sometimes it takes a while. You know, we've all we've all made mistakes, guys. Uh, oh shit. Um. But also, I think it's because it was it was not Ethan's project. It's Elo's, and he doesn't really know how to respond initially it's different if i came here and i said hey, i don't up. care there's nothing wrong with it i'm distributing to those guys who made the original graphic i'm making okay. their life better while i'm sitting so, in a gucci shirt you know okay um yeah that was like a thousand bucks is what it is I um know. exactly um which i don't know why you would a bring thousand it up bucks to be honest. For That's the fuck? you want to talk about Wait, low hanging fruit? i thought That's it was a good point because you're taking because you're saying hold that on, you let's care money. let's not answer okay. the question you do nothing to rectify it while we do so go ahead what are you doing about it on a daily basis every single person that has brought a negative point about the videos but you don't change what you do we, well, we finish, yeah, yeah. Wait, well, well, I, well absolutely we have you literally said i don't care oh yeah but I still do the right thing, though. Which is what? Right. The Wait, well, uh, which is work to make better thumbnails, better description, and to better work with the creators that are be behind the video so that we don't fuck them over and they actually gain something from it. Now, I'd like to talk with Hila for a minute. So mm -hmm. what you're saying is that you're repairing from hindsight, which is something that, that Ethan tried to get at, get at me at, right? And then you brought the fact that we have 30 employees to help us out. Okay, fair enough. Then I, XQC, or whatever the, the, the corporate company, a parent company is, right? Um, well, we only have like two employees, two editors, right? Mm -hmm. And hel help us out, guys. Like, this is so sad. We only have two guys. We're playing the victim card here, right? Um, <laughs> are well, so bad. they sometimes make mistakes too, right? It and hasn't happened to us. But they're mis they're, they have nothing to do with any mistake being made. Right, like there's nothing. To, this is nothing to do with the editors. It's everything to do with XQC. He makes this content. They have people who make their shirts for them, 
he makes his own content and then hires people to edit it, right? So none of this makes any fucking sense at all. Uh, it's been a long, long time since we took Whoa. action. This just happened to you on a daily basis. Just. Uh, I think the difference, if I can say, is that <clears throat> I've been listening. And when Ethan is asking you about this, for example, mm -hmm. you don't say that this is wrong. You, the you thumbnail, wanted, uh, the missing well. the matching thumbnail and title, you say, I did it because I like it. No, he says they're working on better thumbnails. So, so, it's a, so the answer has changed now. If this is your answer, that sounds a lot better. It, you know? it, it, the only reason why it's changed, okay, is that I'm trying to make a bold point for him to latch off the fact that he's on the fucking high road. He shows a high road of the whole process. Okay, That's your problem. When, when that I'm you, right. <laughs> when you are on the high road, it is a thin oh fuck. God. It is a thin fucking road when on the high road, okay? Because you have to be really tight with what you do, the things that you say, and how you act, right? I think the, he's doing the, fine. He's the, live every day for hours. Please, so. please, please, please. I'm talking to Ethan or you. Uh, don't interrupt me. Okay. Um, so now you're taking the high road, okay? You have to be really tight in how you operate, right? So we say things like, oh, well, he does this and, and I never do this, right? Well, you are wrong, and I just told you. You haven't proven that. I, what? Okay, so the designs you stole. Them. That's called be, that's called being a thief. It's a thief. Oh, yeah. Piece of shit, garbage. Yes, ass that was fuck. not right when like, that happened. Okay, it hasn't happened so, in a long time, and we made and we actually made efforts to prevent it. You have not. You said your efforts to prevent no, it is better thumbnails and titles, bro. This is your example of better thumbnails and titles. This was two weeks ago. Same that, name, same fucking thumbnail. You, the guy you did the experiment says, oh my change my thumbnail. They're, they're going in circles at this point. It's getting fucking chaotic, bro. I'll change the name so that my audience doesn't get confused and so that you don't steal my views. Why are you denying that? It's so obvious. Okay. So, like I said, like I said, um, we work, Answer the question. We, what's the question? That was the question is, how is it that you can deny that you're stealing views and intentionally misleading audience to clicking your fucking video. It, intentionally? I, that is not intentional. How is... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like XQC is playing uh, a, like a lawyer game and then at the same time just playing... Uh, just insulting. Well, you can't prove it was intentional. No, of course not. You can't prove anything is intentional. I mean, like, that argument is basically I'm too fucking stupid to know better. That's what he's saying here at this point. Uh, I don't know if I would want to operate on that argument to be, to be real with you, but... Is it possible? Is it possible? Now, Let me not, not, go ahead. Let's say someone comes from your stream. They've watched you all day. They love you. They're a big fan. They watched you react to, let's say, Mr. Beast's new video. Mr. Okay? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Beast. And then they come to the. To be honest with you, I don't think Mr. Beast would care if somebody like reacted to his video. I think he would find it to be a wholly positive thing because he'd be introducing a new audience to people. I've seen him talk about like clip stuff and different types of things on on stream. I think that uh, Mr. Beast looks at everything as like an opportunity to. Um, you know, whatever, an opportunity to get more exposure, which I do think that some reaction content can give. But again, XQCs doesn't really seem to be necessarily exposure driven um, because, uh, you know, it's not a replacement for the original, right? Or it seems like he, to an extent, might be replacing the original video because, like, it's just barely any commentary. Homepage. And guess what they see there? Mr. Beast's new video. Do you think they're, there's, are they less likely or more likely to click his video after they saw it on your channel? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna Answer the question, I... dude. Well, more or some... less okay. likely. Let me just, let me just get that. Think they're, and then they come to the homepage. And guess what? Let's say Mr. Beast's new video. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then they come to the homepage. And guess what they see there? Winty Mr. Beast. Winty Super Chatted $2.20. And 20 cents, <laughs> recovering from surgery. This stream helps. Thai, hibiscus, cherry blossom. Hey, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Hopefully you're doing well with your surgery. What surgery did you have? You don't have to answer that question. Just curious. And you don't have to donate again to answer it. I mean, this is, I just want to hear what he has to say here. New video. Do you this think video? there's, are they less likely or more likely to click his video after they saw it on your channel? This is such a, uh, the question is like weirdly vague to react me. I'm probably to, just a fucking idiot. Let's say Mr. Beast's new video. Okay, you react to Mr. Beast's new video and then they see the video Okay, this is the scenario. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a moron, so I'm a just complete idiot. Mr. Beast made a new video. XQC reacts to the video. XQC uploads it to his channel. People watch XQC react to the video on his channel. Are people going to watch Mr. Beast's video uh, and are afterwards? The answer is probably not, but this isn't an own on XQC. Like I said before, that's not an own. Well, it is, well, XQC, it's not an own on reaction content in general, as long as the reaction... Uh, is transformative enough because if you're going to watch me react to a Mr. Beast video, you're watching it for me. 
not ju not really Mr. Beast, right? Because you, like you're watching me, you want to know what my commentary as the reactor is on this Mr. Beast video. Nobody that just wants to watch that video is going to watch me because I don't shut the fuck up, right? So the reality is, is like if you're tuning in, if you click on my video and you, you're you not going to watch it unless you want to watch me. That's it. That's what it comes down to. You'll be more likely to click off my video by going to the Mr. Beast video through it being in my description. So if anything, engaging with my video um, would have either a neutral or a, a slight positive impact on Mr. Beast. That's what it would come down to. It's two different audiences. I don't think I have a lot of crossover with fucking Mr. Beast, um, you know. So <laughs> that that would be the argument you would use. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, you wouldn't rewatch the video. But nobody watched me because of the Mr. Beast video. They watched me because they wanted my they wanted my commentary on it. That being said, XQC barely does any commentary, so there's a lower chance that people will click off of it uh, and and go to the core video. That's really what it comes down to. That's that is that is where that is how you would respond to that. Okay. After they saw it on your channel. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna Answer the question, that. dude. Well, give him a second. Jesus Christ. Well, the more or less likely. Okay. okay no, okay. no, 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 no. Then again, you know, because Ethan's being very aggressive right now, but then again, XQC started the train of aggression. So Ethan being aggressive now is really, is really just in response to XQC being ballistic the entire time. So I can't really fault them too much for it. Uh, cause X, I mean, XQC did call him bald. And that's a slur around these parts, at least. Only not because I'm I'm not bald, you know. I choose to be bald. I didn't. I'm not. It's not my fault. I I made the decision to be bald. Uh, anybody who says otherwise is going to get sued for for defamation of character. So, um, okay. And just answer one or the other. Two choices. Less got him. Yeah. Did damn. So so then Your Mr. Beast is that proves that you're stealing people's then, views intentionally. Okay, Thank you, bro. So, 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 the views and 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 the click rate in that particular instance. Do you think that would that will end up being a raw loss of the creator or not? Sorry. Are we done talking um, about yeah, Teddy Fresh? I, yeah, if we're done talking about Teddy okay. Fresh, it'd be better because. Okay, so XUC is asking like, does that necessarily is it a raw loss? Because he's going to go with the argument like I have a different audience, which he's not wrong with. He's not wrong on that argument. But. I don't want yeah, to get, feel get, like get, we're get up. Uh, Get out, thief! Before I fucking Robin Hood this shit. Before I start spreading the wealth of your company to other people. Holy shit! I'm about to come at you guys with things and designs. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro! Wow. You're being pretty silly, but ours is. This is just so petty now. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing for XQC. Holy Jesus! Defensible. Yours is not. Or at least we've made. It's not defensible. But anyway, thank. You know what? I mean, I don't see oh, this conversation uh, going much. Guys, guys, it is defensible thievery, guys. They. they no, you know, I, it, I, 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 it's I, stealing in the right. That's what I say when I just don't pay for the gum at Walmart. I pay for the rest. But like, why? You know what I mean? Like, I spend forty dollars. I can. I should be able to steal that gum. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't steal anything. I. I. I can't do it. Wait. No. I, I. I. I retracted that as soon as I said it. Okay. Right? What you heard? I said we. We. We've corrected the error. Uh, an understandable yeah. error, uh, in my opinion, one that you refuse to remedy after time and time and time again. You provide me zero direct answers. And, okay. um, and, and cool. frankly, I think you know you're wrong, and I think you don't care that you're wrong, because it benefits you greatly. You make a yes. lot of money. You don't want to change what you do. And here's another thing. Yeah. You're, you're not going to be able to oh, make uh, 12 hours of content for Kick, who paid you $100 million, if you can't steal other people's content. Because if you... Yeah, but you said before that it was okay for him to do it on stream, so this argument doesn't even necessarily matter. Um. Don't. What the fuck are you going to do all day? Sit there and gamble? Nobody's going to watch that shit. Nobody's gonna watch this shit already. They don't care about you even having arguments. Clearly, you're not very good at that. You lost 12 viewers, man. My views are very good right now, by the way. So I don't need like a therapist to give us a hint on where, when the tantrum ends. When does it end, Ethan? Is it Bro, how ironic. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, we're at a point now where I'm, I'm almost certain that uh, XQC is just like virtue signaling half of this. Like he, the, Ethan is not the most likable person to everybody. Um, and so he knows that, like, by him just saying, oh, you're bad, that he, so some people might gravitate towards it. Like, that would be a, a, all he really needs to do. And people will be, like, all over his shit. Um, but it's obviously not working. Oh, I'm getting fucking dumpstered in the fucking dickhole. Holy shit. Oh. Hold on. Seems like when you go on these tangents, you just you go on a rampage, you just ramble and ramble without making any concise point or a question. Is it you're done with that shit? Can we talk like adults now or not? Okay. 
Um, I, I kind of skip past XQC's response to the other question that was made, but okay. This conversation has kind of ex been exhausted. Me People too. would I'm rather and watch I'm exhausted full by screen this. cam do the fucking warm do than that. watch your prime Bro, than watch your do prime it for content. a week. Do a week of no reaction content and see how many fucking views you get. Oh, he's crying in the corner. <laughs> he, oh, okay, sure. Wow. I mean, that's this content, is... man. It's, ori oh, it's that, original content, at least. It's peak. Content. Yes, do that, bro. You know, XQC was was working up the confidence to do that the entire conversation. He, that was what he has like a list of different things that he thinks are owns on Ethan, and he was like compiling for this. Oh, uh, like, do a, my daddy dude, do I thought a you week. fucking love it, man. Bro, this is the most funny yes, in the great. past fucking four years, bitch. It's, it's awesome. Do a week of no react content. Oh man. Oh, even man, a day. Oh, even a day. Okay. Then. Do one okay, day then. without React content. I'm I'm serious. Hey, hey, Ethan, hey, so Ethan. like, excuse, I mean, this probably again, oh, SCC is like a shitty reactor. That the that's convinced me uh, more than anything else. The argument against it as a reactor is like, well, that's what people enjoy me for is my commentary on particular topics. So for me to do that would be like ridiculous. I can't do the worm, bro. If I if I go on the ground and try to do that, I will literally not be able to get back up. Like I will have to call the hospital. Okay, and I'm just I'm not that fat. <laughs> I'm not Papa got I'm not Papa got 2988. I could get back up. I just don't feel like doing it because I'm lazy. So let's see um your wife's uh, merch sell um sales on the on the first wave when knives and designs were stolen. 90%? Let's see the, let's see the figures. Let's Wait, see. hold on. You're Holy just being you're just being silly, bro. Let me silly. Prove me wrong. Because clearly uh the burden of proof is uh, is, is uh, on you now, right? Because if you make an argument, then you have to prove it. You go ahead and prove it. You haven't even shown I mean what? Dude, you're, 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 you're being you silly, bro. You're being ridiculous. That's true. The silly goose. Well, it seems man. like a, oh, I have to prove everything, and you have to prove nothing. Yet. That's you've not, not at all what's nothing. been happening. And Someone you've done nothing it. except prove some <clears throat> defunct All right, thank you, buddy. It was a good chat. Actor. I think well, that I, we've I, done a good done. job at getting no, to the heart of what you care about and how you feel about taking people's videos. I think it was illuminating. I think we had a really good conversation. I truly hope it ends here because I I mean, as fun as this was, I I think that we've gotten the perfect amount of obnoxious content uh, for now. Uh, I like so far I've been I've been doing two and a half hour reaction to an hour long video. I think I've satisfied the uh, the react uh, the reaction. Oh, my so, God, it's over. Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I don't think you have anything else interesting to say, so... I, think I have to also really? piss. Oh, I think your audience thinks I have something interesting to say. It's just the promise that you're running How long so do you want me to sit here and listen to you, see, watch you crawl around on the ground like a worm? I mean, I have a show to do, dude. Unlike you, I actually <laughs> fucking organize and put work into my show. I understand for you, you're just burning time. You could sit here for 12 hours. That'd make your life easier. You wouldn't have to go steal videos. But me, I plan this. I have a show. I have a schedule. This is stop being interesting because you're just sitting there saying silly shit and doing the worm. True. So Honestly, that being said, true. I mean, thank yeah. you for calling. Got I feel it. like gotcha. it was very illuminating, and I wish you the best, and I hope you have a great stream. Gotcha. Oh, one more question. I wanted to ask him who is Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair is here. Actually, I'll show this. Fuck. This? Oh, I, want I wanted to ask him that. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's it, it, that was not going anywhere. But here for the people. Is that like Mr. Hands? Uh, it's just a guy with an extra hand. You could look it up if you want. <laughs> Don't look that up, please. Still watching. Here's him talking I, about so Mr. See, Chair. See, I have a concept in, in my chat um, called Mr. Chair. If I'm gone and I watch a video and I, I leave, uh, Mr. Chair watches the video for me. And chat fucking <laughs> loves Mr. Chair more than they like, they like me. Chat hates I think me. think that means that they like the original video. That That is uh, that is true. That means that nobody watches XQC for his commentary. They only watch XQC so that, because he watches videos that they enjoy. And ultimately, like that to me shows that XQC really is stealing content not because he's a reaction uh, content creator but because he has nothing transformative to the video and his audience has expected that to the point that they will complain and he will and he will succumb to those complaints when people say you're talking too much so you know i mean i don't blame him though because he sounds like a fucking moron but but the views of which you're stealing but he's he's saying yeah i just walk away in my chair my chair does the work for me all right i think that's enough of this video uh i don't think xcc comes back I'm good on that. All right, this is a TikTok clip that I saw uh, on my TikTok feed before I came here, and somebody had asked me to watch like Destiny's perspective on how XQC did. Apparently, he tuned into Destiny the second it was over and asked him how it was. Let's just watch. It's four minutes. It's from TikTok. Yada yada yada. Let's go. Hey, what's, um, what's up, buddy? Uh, how'd man. that go, like? Did you watch it or not? <laughs> I watched it. Yeah. How did I do? Tell, tell me how it actually. 
the the fact that he asks how he did to me is is it's incredible it really is incredible i mean the self-awareness of xqc is non-existent i i just that's it's, it's such a what what an incredible thing just don't show that if i did really bad you just don't i don't care i wasn't i'm not trying to catch you know win or whatever but uh, uh -huh. yeah go ahead um i put it between uh i'd give you a 2.5 on a 10 scale <laughs> okay tell me why it was terrible okay. Just a couple of things, okay? So one, um, okay, I think it would help to organize your thoughts before a debate, like do like a formal outline, because I think Ethan does that. Yeah. And it helps him to um, it helps him to keep his thoughts straight because you want to like rattle off a lot of different things, and it's tempting to go to a lot of different yeah. places. So that's one. And then two, I think you got to bring the you got to bring the chill way up, and the, the, the aggression, the snark down. way down, because it seemed like you were getting like really mean really quickly. But well, you told me this was about optics. Now, I, if it is all about <laughs> worldview and uh, morality, I had to just get him mad. And I, I... <laughs> being obnoxious was uh, was his strategy the whole time. He was trying to be obnoxious because he thought it would have been good for the video. He thought it he thought it would have riled Ethan up so much that he would have been weaker in the debate. This is insane. Oh my god. I mean, that's the payoff is non-existent, right? Because some people will act obnoxious, and then if you meet them where they're at or go below her, go lower than that, excuse me, um, then, like, you kind of will win optically. But Ethan was just saying you're being silly, which was a good response because he was, and then turned off the stream at the perfect time, honestly. Uh, he, he turned it off right before we engaged in, like, audience fatigue, so. I, I got him mad. I don't know. I don't think he was ever mad in that conversation. I think he probably feels mad. pretty good. Yeah, about me too. I would have as I well. Don't I don't think I don't think there's a singular um How the fuck do I get up here? creator that likes to be at their peak viewership and exit out of a uh, combo room saying that he's balling out and he's happy. I don't I you don't believe that either. I think you're just kinda trolling. What? Okay. Well if you think I'm trolling, I won't give you any feedback at all. He's I know for a fact one trillion percent. We can come back in two years and revisit this, but he's absolutely not mad. That conversation probably went better than he could have ever expected it. <laughs> he had you crawling around like a worm on his screen while he was like getting you point after point after point after point. After point, after point, after point. <laughs> Well, I'm guarding views, and I'm, I'm fucking. I guess I'm, I'm stacking deals in cash when he's fucking, fucking mauling out there, man. I'm. I, it seems okay. like I'm doing pretty good for myself, to be honest. I yeah. should have sprinkled some content. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's literally five seconds after the debate, so it's we wouldn't notice any change. But regardless of whether uh, you maintain your brand or not, doesn't explain like or doesn't excuse you being an asshole uh, at all. My bad. Next time, I'm just gonna sit here and fucking wait till Ethan rolls out 1,000 word rant and have his wife come in and fucking support him with some fucking character, man. Pog. What, what was that, man? What? what? You, I don't get it. I, well, I think if the goal was to just make money or make content, I mean, you're always winning there, but I don't think that's what the debate is, is right? Just he, so tried, you... he tried to make the, 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 the money argument the whole time. That I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm saying that if the goal is to see who thing. has more money by the beginning and end of the debate, obviously no. you've won that, right? But Then then, then, then don't bring fucking antics and, and whatever, because, I mean, that's the only way I can get the point across. Though. Hey, what if I brought Uncle Tix with me? <laughs> that's actually a creator. He's like an Australian guy. He's pretty funny. Uncle T That's funny. He has Tourette's. That's why he calls his, uh, his name is Uncle Tix. I've exhausted this joke. Like yeah, like, I think there. What, are, what, what? I think the, the. I think there are strategies before doing the worm that we can employ to get points across. I think. Okay, fair enough. I right, go ahead. <laughs> so I'm supposed to not anger him and bring the sass way down. No, it's. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're never supposed to try to anger somebody in any conversation. If it happens, like that might help you in the debate, but you're not supposed to get there. <laughs> that, that his strategy, even if you, to me, that's even worse. Um. Even if it like, uh, I just it's just so childish. I don't know. There's a there's a. You didn't leak the DM. Uh, X sent him post debate. Um, yeah, I think okay. that like being more chill. Unless the other person is freaking out, I think that if you go like really hard, I think it just it's it, I think it looks a little bad optically. Oh, sorry. Uh, the what? If I went uh, I went too hard, you think? Yeah, I think you were. I think you went way over the top really quickly. In terms of like, I thought I thought he was I thought I thought he went over the top like crazy. <laughs> what? He kept not letting me talk, asking questions. There were some moments where Ethan was talking a little bit over XQC, but from what I to me, it didn't seem like that happened till like towards the middle end after XQC had riled it up. Like you're not going to get a respectful en like engagement if you're not being respectful. And not letting me answer. Um, he didn't want to bring up data. He bought out one video. He bought my video and watched the whole thing. But when it's time to play my video. He just kept 
Pause, 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 pause. Well, because you, you edited the video, so. Let's comment. I mean, this is not a fair representation. It's not how he conducted an argument. Sure. I mean, I agree he was cutting you off a lot. That was true. And it was fair for you to bring that up to ask to finish a point. That's true as well. But like, when it came to comparing the videos, why do you think, what do you think his issue was with your video over his video of you? Oh, because he has the impression that we're, uh, we're editing and we're cutting it, right? Except we're just pausing and it's spliced in. Kind of. Well, his issue is that like, if you're going to evaluate whether a video is like a transformative fair use video, the whole video is pretty important to consider. So his issue is if you're just editing moments of silence in a video, that that's not really what yeah. he's talking about. It's not necessarily the same thing as okay. like, we don't know that basically okay. in this video, right? Yeah. So, so the only reason why we brought these arguments is that I used his argument against him of the 40 seconds. He's just sitting there. He's just sitting there. 40 seconds. He's just sitting there, right? When in his videos, he does a lot of sitting there and 40 seconds, no talk, right? That I'm just using, I'm flipping back the points on himself. And he had no argument. He had to, re he had, he had to retreat twice from, for, from both arguments. And when I was able to the third one, he said, let's change topic. He did that both times. It's, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Am I supposed to? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. That's that clip. I'm going to look at Ethan's Twitter in a second, though. Final message from XQC. I know it kills you inside. You lost so much time and money in that lawsuit. Which one? I don't know. Whatever, whichever, really. You seem so bitter after it. I'm fine. <laughs> Anyways, when the bills kick in and you're struggling, remind yourself you leaked DMs out of insecurity. Uh, and, I don't, and don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. Oh, this wasn't even the first one, I imagine. What were the first leaked DMs? Oh, this is a whole thread. Okay. Wait, what is this? Ah, oh, dude, I hate Twitter. I'm so bad at Twitter. <laughs> what are we doing here? Uh, you're coping, my friend. 50 plus unbiased samples. What is this that he's showing us here? I... I don't even... Oh, I guess that XUC sent it to him. I don't know what this means. Okay. Uh, this is really what we're looking at. You know, the whole point of the show is that you actually discuss points. Kicking me out and doing echo chamber tweets about the stuff you didn't prep for is some soy behavior. Cheers, man. Oh, shit. We got Sneeko Part 2 over here. I don't know why you're so caught up with money shit. You got shit money can't buy. Like, why? It matters to other people whose videos you use. Like I stated, we care a fuck ton. If they want something from us, we will give it to them. A flat fee would be fine, too. Not everyone is a millionaire. That's why we try to be careful to a certain degree. Sometimes some mishaps happen, but we're on top of it. It's not your decision to make. Okay. Then I will continue to expand my library of React-friendly channels and React potential and keep doing it while you search for victims that don't exist. The world does, doesn't need to know. doesn't need your help, Ethan. You asked me to debate the issue, dude. I'm not looking to save the world just to have a conversation about fair use with you, which you, we did. Okay, gotcha. Stay safe and wish you nothing but the great health and love. Thanks, man. Same to you. Good night. Okay. Uh, cool. We made uh, good progress in, in engaging in the transformative nature of that content. We started this at nine minutes on the stream. It is now two hours and 37 minutes. We got a solid two, about two and a half hour reaction out of this. Uh, I've done my part. I got to take a quick piss and get some more water, and then we're going to do a little bit more content. Um, I'm going to play someone else's video while we do this. Uh, don't worry, I have their permission. So. I guess I need to watch this early chat. I guess you guys watch it on, on kick, but I need to watch it because I wasn't, I wasn't there. A distressing 911 call was received from a female urgently requesting an officer's assistance but refusing to provide further information.